to you by Budweiser. This Bud's for you. And by Ball Olds Honda, located on the National City Mile of Cars. And by the Aspen Mine Company for fine food and spirits. Hughes Stadium, Fort Collins, Colorado, where today, San Diego State Aztecs take on the Colorado State University Rams. Not only is it the 1981 opener, but it's a Western Athletic Conference game. It is a beautiful day in the Rocky Mountains. Temperatures in the 80s. Hi, everybody. I'm Ron Reno, along with Bob Babbage, who joins me this year on the Aztec telecast, a new era. Doug Scoville, new head coach of the Aztecs. Bob Babbage. Bob, glad to have you. Ron, it'll be a pleasure working with you. It should be a real exciting season. I know the past will be back in the Aztec attack. Talking to the coaches last night, they plan on throwing the ball anywhere from 25 to 50 times a day. All right, Matt Kofer, senior quarterback. He's got to be the guy. He definitely is one of the keys, but the biggest key is the offensive line. If they could protect him, I think they'll have a pretty powerful attack today. All right, this is a veteran team, Colorado State University Rams. Right, they've got a lot of returning uh, starters, both offensively and defensively. They have eight on offense, eight on defense, a couple all-league performers in both areas. Uh, they also will throw the ball. So we may see a whack record today of number of passes thrown. So grab a chair because we may be here for a while this afternoon. Aztecs and Colorado State will be back with head coach Doug Scoville right after this. This buds for the guys who make our engines purr like a kitten and roar like a lion. This buds for you. Yeah, just for you, that distinctively clean, crisp taste that says Budweiser. For all you do. This Bud's for you. Here's Gene Burdett, Athletic Director at San Diego State, with a special message. Gene? Thanks, Ron. Over the past 12 years, Dave Ball and Ball Olds Honda have been great supporters of the Aztec Athletic Foundation. And this year, they've come up with what I think is a great idea. Every time the Aztecs score a touchdown during the season, Ball Olds Honda will contribute $100 to the Aztec Athletic Foundation. Well, we'd like to thank Ball Olds and wish them a great year. And we all hope the Aztecs score a lot of touchdowns and really get into Dave's pocket. The Doug Scoville Show is brought to you by Coca-Cola, Not All Styrus, and by New Corp Corporation. And now, here is Coach Doug Scoville and Ron Rena. All right, coming up in just a couple of minutes, San Diego State Aztecs and our Colorado State University Rams at Fort Collins, Colorado. It's the opener. Not only that, it's an important game because it's a whack game, so it does count in the standings. It's the first game for Doug Scoville and his staff, head coach at San Diego State, and a new era for the Aztecs. Now, Doug, we know that the Aztecs didn't bring you here as head man because you're going to be a defensive coach and try to get three to nothing ball games on the scoreboard. We all know we're going to try to get in that end zone as often and as quickly as we possibly can. Uh, of course, particularly in that first ball game, defense is extremely important along with the uh, special teams. They've got to stop them and get us the ball, particularly our defensive backs. I think we have some of the most aggressive cornerbacks, particularly, and uh, Mike Fox has done a great job in making a transition from cornerback to weak safety, and uh, last scrimmage we had, he was outstanding. All right, and you got Vernon Dean on a corner? Vernon Dean and David Crowdip are excellent cornerbacks. Okay. Yeah. All right, now that's an important thing. Obviously, when you get the ball, we know you're going to throw it. And that starts with the quarterback, Matt Kofler. How's his progress? Uh, Matt's come along very well. I'm, I'm very pleased with him. He's uh, assimilated the system very quickly. He had a good spring. Uh, he's looked good this fall. And uh, I, th I think he fits very well into our scheme of things. So he's learned your type of offense? Uh, I think to this point, he, he's done very well. We're blessed with two tight ends that love to catch the ball. And, uh, of course, John Jessup from last year, and we have a transfer from Texas A&M, uh, Jim Butro, who's been impressive. So both those, both those tight ends will be playing a lot. Now, there's got to be a concern about the offensive line. Can they pass block? Well, we've worked awfully hard on it, and of course, this is one of the hardest things to teach in, in college football. There's a lot of technique to it, and that's the one that one technique that takes a little bit longer. But I think I think we'll be ready. We, right. we can do it. Good. And of course. Every Sunday, we will have Doug Scoville and 
a replay of the Aztec Games right here on XETV Channel 6 at 4 o'clock. Furthermore, on Sunday mornings, fans can come right here to the Aspen Mine on El Cajon Boulevard right by San Diego State and in the mornings on Sunday, not only see the highlights of the previous Saturday's ball game, but also meet the coach and ask questions. That's every Sunday here at the Aspen Mine. And we got the kickoff coming up in just a few minutes at Fort Collins, Colorado, the Aztecs and Colorado State. The coin toss won by Colorado State. The Rams will receive. San Diego State will kick off. Aztecs in white jerseys with black helmets, red, hel or, or rather black pants and red helmets. Colorado State colors green and gold. This is Dave Meyer, a JC transfer from Ranger Junior College in Texas, who will be kicking off for San Diego State to launch not only the ball game, but the football season. Back deep for Colorado State will be Richie Hall and also Troy Lindsay. So we're about ready to start the football game and the season. The Scoville era underway. Meyer boots the ball high. End over end kick. Hall deep in the end zone will not return. Bob Babbage in the altitude. Kickers love it. They sure do. It adds about another five to ten yards on their kicks. It should help out both punters today, and especially uh, we may even see about a 50, 58 yard field goal try. All right, we'll look forward to that in this telecast made possible by authority granted from the NCAA and San Diego State University. Any taping for replay or broadcast of this game without the express written consent of the NCAA or San Diego State University is prohibited. A veteran Ram team, Sarkar Slating, the head coach, ninth year, but a rookie quarterback, sophomore Terry Nugent, out of the I formation, running backs Mike Hendricks and Troy Lindsay. And Nugent gives to Lindsay, hole up the middle, goes from the 20 up to the 25-yard line for what will be a five-yard pickup on the first play. Ronnie, they're running out of the I formation. That's their basic running formation. They have wide splits in the line of scrimmage. They're trying to widen out the San Diego State defensive linemen so that there's a lot of natural gaps. And in an I formation, the tailback's about five to seven yards behind the line of scrimmage, and he can read where the natural hole is, and he just cuts back to it as he did on that, that play right All that right, we just had. Six-yard pickup, so it'll be second down four. Colorado State again, the I formation. Terry Nugent, sophomore quarterback. Gives this time as flags go down. Fullback Mike Hendricks sits on the left side across the 30 to the 31 for what would be enough for a first down. But as I say, penalty flags on the football field. Aztecs with a 3-4 front defensively. Looks to be a legal procedure against the Colorado State Rams. The Aztecs up front. Brad Williams, Mike Vance at defensive tackle. Steve Allman at the nose. Outside linebackers, Todd Seabaugh, transfer from Ventura JC, and Rick Reeder, a veteran. Inside linebackers, Bill Fairbrother, who redshirted at San Diego State last year, and Alan Dale, a JC transfer from Palomar JC. Secondary, the cornerbacks are Darrell Hall, 5'10 senior from Long Beach, Vernon Dean, who you may recall hurt in the Air Force game last year. And now we have a timeout on the field called by Colorado State after the five yard walk off. So the Rams, I guess, want to talk it over as the football. Marked off from the line of scrimmage will be at the 21-yard line. Continue the Aztec starters. Right corner, Vernon Dean, a 5'11 senior from Los Angeles. And then the safeties will be Mike Fox, the veteran, who led the NCAA in kickoff returns last year, a junior from Fontana. And Mark Coleman, 6'3 junior, transferred from Cerritos, J.C. But now today's game is being brought to you by Bud. And if you like sports as much as... Everybody else in San Diego, you know Budweiser goes great with any sport. Whether you're a participant or a spectator, call on the king of bears. Second down, nine, Colorado State after the penalty. From the 21-yard line, Nugent on a draw to fullback. Hendricks, good yard, H. Tripped up at the 26, falls forward to the 30 and 31-yard line. Looks like he's got first down yardage. Big hole in the Aztec defensive line. Now they place it at the 29. It's a good play here, the draw, because they were expecting a pass rush, and the San Diego State defense will do a lot of different things. They will blitz their linebackers. They will slant their defensive linemen. They will have all kinds of stunts with your defensive tackles and your nose guard. Colorado State figuring something was up, decided to see what was going on, and they ran the draw play. All right, Terry Nugent, sophomore, six foot four, from Elk Grove up near Sacramento. First start, quarterback, keeper. Just following his center and left guard goes to the 30-31 yard line where the Aztecs stack him up. Bill Fairbrother at the bottom of the pile along with Steve Allman. About a two-yard pickup. First down for Colorado State. Yeah, yeah. 
No score just underway. Hughes Stadium, Fort Collins, Colorado. Split backs this time. Nugent. On a give. Comes to Troy. Lindsay tries the right side. Lindsay breaks one tackle. Goes to the 32-33 yard line. Hold it there. Mike Vance stringing it out. In there along with Vlad Williams, the 6'2 junior from Jackson, New Jersey. Todd Seabaugh did a real good job on that by uh, stringing it out down the line, giving uh, Daryl Hall and Mike Vance a chance to get over there and make the play and hold it down to a minimal gain. Second down, Colorado State. Second and eight. Setbacks are Hendricks and Lindsey. Quarterback Terry Nugent. Now back to pass for the first time today. Sets up, drops it off to his tailback. Lindsey upfield. At the 40, goes to the 44-yard line. Troy Lindsey, a 5'9 sophomore from Denver, took that pass. First down, Colorado State. Tackles made by Allen Dale, inside linebacker. Colorado State is feeling out the San Diego defense. Here they throw a little slip screen to Troy Lindsey, who has very good moves, and he's got a lot of quickness, and they're going to see what he could do, see if he could break one. Picked up about 10 or 12 yards on that play. Two first downs in this drive for the Rams. No score at their own 44-yard line of the I formation. Give deep back. Lindsay. Lindsay hit at the line of scrimmage. Drives forward for about a yard to the 45-yard line. That's all but a one-yard pickup. Aztec defensive line doing a job on him. Steve Allman starting at nose guard. Steve formerly a defensive end for the Aztecs. He's 6'1", a senior from El Medina. Transferred from Santa Ana, J.C. You can see the ball at the 45-yard line. And a one-yard pickup, second down nine. Coming up for Colorado State as Richie Hall sets out wide to the left. Jeff Rakes set wide to the right. Here's Nugent to pass again. Has time, sets up, goes long for Rakes. Overthrown at the 20-yard line. Coverage by safety Mike Fox. So that's the first time, Bob, they've really thrown downfield. Yes, they have. They've been playing with all the little short stuff, draws, uh, quick traps, little slip screen, and now they're going to test the secondary. San Diego State was in his own coverage there, and Mike Fox take, taking his half of the field. It's a two, de two deep zone where the safeties have deep halves of both, both sides of the field. So now we're looking at a third down nine for Colorado State. Again, rakes to the right, Hall to the left out of the I formation. Nugent, back to pass, has time, sets up, now being chased, and under pressure throws, and throws it away into the Aztec badge. Good coverage in the secondary, and then ultimately getting some pressure from Brad Williams. Well, the Aztecs stopped Colorado State. Sure did. Uh, Rick Reeder was blitzing in from his uh, outside right linebacker spot, put a little pressure on him. I think he made first contact, and then Brad Williams came up second. So, fourth down. And Tom Templer will come on to punt. A veteran who stand at his own 30-yard line, single safety for San Diego State. As Gary Nobles kick is away, Nobles backs up at the 11-yard line. Not much help, trying to get outside, and has no teammates there to help him hold down at the 10-yard line. So San Diego State will go on offense for the first time in this ball game. No score. That's a 44-yard punt by Tom Templer. Well, Templer was one of the uh, leading punters in the WAC last year, averaging 41.6 yards. He's already set about three or four school records here at Colorado State, so he's going to be uh, a very important offensive weapon for him if they can't move the ball. All right, and the Aztecs will take a timeout, and we'll be back. First quarter, San Diego State nothing. Colorado State, and the Aztec offense takes the field for the first time. 11.26 to play in the first quarter. Matt Kofler, senior quarterback out of Patrick Henry High, under center. On first down, Matt, long count, line of scrimmage. A draw, Kerry Williams, and the ball takes it across the 10, up to about the 11, close to the 12-yard line. Williams, 5'10", a senior from Long Beach. Played last year for the Aztecs. Bull Williams is a real fine running back. He's got, he's got a lot of power, and he's an excellent blocker. And the big thing that surprised everybody this summer was that he could really catch the ball. He has very good hands. Aztecs will alternate tight ends with plays. John Jessup and Jim Botro. Botro is a transfer from Texas A&M. He's out of Santa Barbara. He's 6'3", 225, a senior. So it's second down eight after that two-yard run. 
Kukler operating from the right hash mark. Back to pass. First time. Dumps it off to Craig Ellis. Ellis gets a block. He's up the far sideline across the 15. And to the 18-yard line. A flag goes down in the pile. Maybe a late hit. As Matt dumps it off to Craig Ellis on his first pass. Scores of other games around the country. Halftime. Notre Dame with Jerry Foss, formerly a high school coach, leads LSU 14-0. Wyoming 13, Oklahoma 10. There's well, a surprise. Upset in the second quarter in Norman, Oklahoma. And those are some of the scores we have up to date. Penalty, though, is against the Aztecs. March off back to the nine yard line. Clipping. So at that, Jessup comes in with a play at tight end. San Diego State now will operate from the nine where it'll be second down. And 11. Matt Kopler. Draw to Craig Ellis. Not much running room. Craig gets a little something out of it, though, as he was hitting the backfield. Then slipped across the 10 up to the 12-yard line. Number 91 for Colorado State. Mike Call was slanting on the inside, and he just came right through. Talking with John Featherstone and Tom Freeman, two of the offensive coaches last night, they said they were going to screen and draw and quick trap these, this Colorado State defense. They're really big, and they moved from a 3-4 last year to a 4-3 this year, and they feel that getting wide on them would be pretty tough, but they could work a lot up the middle. So we'll see a lot of draws and screens. All right, Darius Durham sits out wide to the left on third down and nine. Kofler fakes the draw, in trouble, steps up, and throws over the middle, complete to Boutreau to tie it in at the 25-yard line, and the Aztecs have a first down. Matt Kofler to Jim Boutreau. Well, Jim's been a real pleasant surprise this year for the Aztecs transferring in from Texas A&M. They say he's got excellent speed for a big man. He's 6'3", 225 pounds, and uh, loves to catch that football. Well, he showed it there over the middle as he got open. Matt, under some pressure, stepped up and found him. So now, Aztecs with a first down. Phil Smith, an interesting story in himself, sets out wide to the right, Darius Durham to the left. Running backs are Ellis and Williams. Oh, oh and Aztec wide receivers jump. Oh, there's movement. And now the snap as Kofler's mad because Phil Smith jumped and then he had a chance to get back. But at any rate, Colorado State wisely made contact. And as you see, the flags all over the place and an unhappy Matt Kofler. Ron, those are just opening game mistakes. They have the jitters. It's the first game and get a little down on themselves when they make a quick mistake. Now you, there, you see Matt yelling at Phil Smith. And then finally, why the Colorado State defensive line makes contact. Actually, what turned out to be his delay of the game. Okay. <laughs> so, Colorado State declines the penalty. It'll be second and ten. Only call a penalty against Colorado State also. Offside. Amazing. Take it over. All right. Well, it's springtime in the Rockies. First and ten. Aztec. No score. First quarter. Matt Kofler in the center. Sets up. Back to pass. Ah, dumps it out to Williams. Carry 35. Moves it up to the 33-yard line. Good game for San Diego State. As Bull Williams. San Diego State's passing attack is everything is geared upfield. As you can see, Kofler's coming back here. He's looking for the slant to Phil Smith, and he sees it's covered, so he just dumps it off to Bull Williams, number 34, who just sneaks out into the short flat. And it's good for five, six, seven yards. Tackle by Andy Parama, defensive tackle, 6'3", junior from Denver. They have a veteran club along the front and a linebacker. Eight returning starters on defense. So the play picks up seven. It'll be second down three. Aztecs from their own 33-yard line of the I formation this time. Give Williams again. Bull puts his head down and dives for first down yardage. Bull Williams takes it across the 35, close to the 38-yard line. It's a very strong runner. He's got powerful, powerful legs, and he keeps them churning. Amazing thing about Bull, as big as and as physical as he is, he was drafted five times by the major leagues for baseball, so uh, he's turned down shots of playing in the major leagues to finish out his college career. As you can see, he's a very strong runner. Good blocking by right guard Rob Gilster, a newcomer to the offensive line, a 6'5", 230-pound junior from Escondido, transferred from Palomar, J.C. So the Aztecs with two first downs in this drive, now operating at their own 38-yard line. 
Kopler on first down, back to pass. Sets up, dumps it off, tight end. Boutro again across the 45, up close to first down yardage at midfield. Boy, all three wide receivers just went down and cleared it out, Bob, and he just delayed from the tight end position. He sure did. The tight end's, the tight end's one of their strongest positions in the receiving uh, category. They got two fine ones with Jessup and Boutro. They send the wide receivers down and let Boutro come underneath. There he is, wide open. Colorado State's playing his own defense, so they're dropping deep. They're worried about the long pass, and that's going to open up a lot of stuff on the short short game for San Diego State in their passing attack. Aztecs show slot formation this time with Darius Durham wide. Smith in the slot, now Smith in motion on first down from the 49-yard line. Kofler, a draw to Bull Williams. Not much running room. As he pounds through the middle across the 50 into Colorado State territory at the 49-yard line and haul down there. And a pickup on the play of just a couple of yards. Tonight's game brought to you tonight, today. This is afternoon, isn't it? Yes, today's game brought to you by Ball, Oldsmobile, and Honda on the National City Mile of Cars. Two-yard pickup, second down, eight coming up. No score. Got eight minutes left to play, first quarter. This time Durham sets out wide to the right, Phil Smith to the left. On second down, Kopler back to pass again. Has time. Now fires a field. Leaping catch, Darius Durham. What a play at the 32-yard line of the Rams. Well, you probably heard and read that Darius Durham has vastly improved, and he showed it right there. He's really had a good summer, and he had a, came into his own in the spring, and then he just blossomed in the summer. He just really started improving week, week after week, practice after practice. And that was great effort diving for the ball. Jerry Stavlin did a good job on uh, Mike Call, defensive end on blocking there, kept him out. Aztecs bring Clinton Sampson in at wide receiver now. 5'11 junior from Los Angeles. It's out wide to the right. Phil Smith to the left. On first down. Aztecs in Colorado State territory. No score. Kopler back to pass again. Has time. Now rolls out. Looking upfield. In trouble. Fires it and taken in by John Jessup, the tight end at the 31 yard line, as Kopler was under heavy pressure. Linebacker Kevin Sheasley really came roaring in there. Kevin's one of the finer linebackers that they have. He was an all honorable mention all whack player last year and uh, hurt his knee in the spring and he's just coming back from knee surgery. So I don't know how much time he'll see playing. Craig Play. Ellis is open in a flat. Too bad there was so much pressure on uh, Matt Kofler because that could have been a big gainer. Matt is five for five passing for 48 yards. That play gained only two yards. Second down eight coming up at the 30 yard line. Aztecs operating from the right hash mark. Kofler sets up again. Fires long for Smith. He got hung up and overthrown at the 10-yard line. Bill Smith, who is 6'3", 180, a junior. He's from Compton, a walk on the San Diego State as a quarterback. And had been hanging around for a while as a quarterback, never got a shot. And finally, this coaching staff moved him to an end, and he's a player. Well, they found out he had 4-4 speed, so they decided might as well take advantage of that. You don't have to be a 5 bit of kappa to figure that out. That's right. There is a flag down against San Diego State. Colorado State captains will accept the walk-off, which is 10 yards, so it must be holding. It is that. And this year, colleges have come in line with pro football on the holding call, 10 yards, as opposed to 15. Five and a half minutes to play, first quarter, no score. So the football now at the 40-yard line of Colorado State. Aztecs will have a second down and 20. Clinton Sampson sets out wide to the left. Anthony Kelly in now at the other wide receiver. He's wide right. Kelly, 6'1", junior from San Diego, played at Mesa College. Kofler on second down. Has time. Now under pressure and trying to run out of there, looking for help. Fires it downfield and completes it. Down at the 21-yard line to Craig Ellis. Little presence of mind there, Bob. Sure was. He found all his receivers uh, covered, got a little pressure, and Craig Ellis saw that he was in trouble and he just broke out into the flat. He was all by himself for a nice gainer. And there, see, you see the sticks there for the first down yardage, and Craig fought his way. It's Kopler looking to the left, can't find anyone, trying to scramble, and there, Ellis just sneaks out of the backfield out into the flat. This young man had a tremendous summer. He's got great speed and quickness, good receiver. First down for the Aztecs oh, at the Colorado State 22. Handoff up the middle. Bo Williams slides through there and gets down to the 15 to the 13-yard line. Check that. That was 
Craig Ellis. I beg your pardon. Craig, the tailback. 5'11", 175, senior out of Los Angeles. It's a little trap here in the middle on number 74. Steve Bolton. The Aztecs will do a lot of trapping today because of the size of the Colorado State line. They get good pressure on the pass, and they're going to keep them on us, make them stay at home a little. Hopefully that will keep the pressure off of Copeland. That play gains seven yards, second down and three, San Diego State. At the 14 of Colorado State, the upside line right, open field to the left. Kofler, pitch to Ellis, trying to sweep it on the left side. Cuts in at the five to the three, down to the two-yard line. And we got a flag down. Craig Ellis, the ball carrier. Boy, that play set up nicely. Stop by but it might be wiped out, though. Wide receiver Anthony Kelly threw a nice block down there to spring him. Yeah, I was afraid of that. Clipping, and I believe it was against Dan Kesey, an offensive lineman. Just a little pitch to the weak side. Top of the screen. There it is. You saw that. 64. Clip. Yeah. That's too bad, because a big gain for Ellis would have been a first down out at the two-yard line. So instead, the ball moves back to the 20-yard line. San Diego State, instead of a first down, will have a second down. And it'll be second and 14. Aztecs have to go to the six-yard line for a first down. Kofler, back to pass. Sets up now, rolls out of there, looking upfield. He's going to run it. He's at the 20, cuts at the 15, the 10, and rolled out of bounds at the seven-yard line, and a flag goes down. Looks like a late hit on the sideline there, Ron. Linebacker Earl Rezac. Now, Kofler looked to be close to the first down yardage, but if they tack on anything with the penalty, he'll have to distance the goal line. They've got it. There you see, first down, Aztecs. Matt adds that extra dimension to the passing attack. He's a good scrambling quarterback, and he's got deceptive speed. You know, he doesn't really look as fast as he is, but he really, he can really move it. Here he gets pressure from Call, moves to the outside, sees that he has a little running room, no receivers are open, just puts the ball away, and picks up an easy first down. First and goal, Aztecs. Scott Ramage comes in, double tights, two tight ends. Down on the goal line. First down, San Diego State. Kofler gets to Craig Ellis trying to get outside, but no running room. Colorado State did a nice job of defensing it. Coming up with safety Greg Tillman, a 5'10 senior from Glendale, California. And the play loses yardage to the five-yard line. So it'll be second down, goal to go at the five. Here it is on the sweep. We're trying to run a sweep to the weak side of the Colorado State defense, but Tillman coming in, making a fine play. Just read the play and snuck in through a gap. Second down, Aztecs. Kofler fires to the end zone. Phil Smith, overthrow. Just couldn't quite get it as Smith one-on-one -on -one with cornerback Mike Fawcett. That's what the Essex call a nine pattern. Just fired down there. Well, they know they're going to have man-to-man -man coverage down there, and with the speed that Smith has, that he should be able, with a quick move, beat, beat any one-on-one -on -one coverage down there that close, and they just want to put it over the defender's head, and hopefully he could grab it. Sports Network would like to thank Robert Basie, a professional corporation, for his assistance in making this telecast possible. From Fort Collins, Colorado, where it's no score, if you just joined us, three and a half minutes to play first quarter. Aztecs third down, goal to go at the five. Kofler, back to pass again. The other side, Durham, very close. No, they say he stepped on the out-of-bounds line. Fine reception by Darius Durham. Very close to the out-of-bounds. Boy, Darius not happy with it. So the Aztecs halted on fourth down now. The kicking team will come on. This drive started at the 10, got all the way down to the 3. 16-play drive, 85 yards. And used up a lot of time. I don't believe we'll have too much trouble moving the ball this year. So, a field goal attempt. Mike Jeslin to hold. Dave Meyer to try the field goal. From the 13, it'll be a 23-yard attempt. He's got a good angle right straight in front of the goal post. Falls down, kicks on its way. And it is good. So the Aztecs going aboard first. Three to nothing, San Diego State with 3.28 to play in the first quarter. All right, here's How, the, 
Bob. It's just a quick out to uh, Darius Durham, trying to get the quick score. Made a tremendous catch. Looks pretty close. I think he might have gotten that one foot inbounds. Oh, I'd say so, yeah. But officials didn't agree, so a field goal puts the Essex on top three to nothing. Matt Kochler, six for nine, passing for 69 yards. The Essex went 85 yards in 17 plays. So now Meyer will kick off for Colorado State. Troy Lindsay and Richie Hall back at the goal line awaiting the kickoff. Dave Boop high, end over end kick, deep into the end zone. In fact, to the back of the end zone, and Richie Hall says, why mess around with this? Dave Meyer's got a great leg. He was an All-American at junior college last year, and uh, he's got good range. They say he kicked the ball anywhere from, uh, in fact, in a spring game, he kicked a 52-yard field goal. With the air as thin as up here, he might be able to get a 58-er today. A 52-yarder in San Diego Stadium with that heavy air. That's right. right. So once again, Colorado State starts from the 20-yard line. Treading now 3 to nothing. Sophomore quarterback Terry Nugent brings his club to the line on first down. And gives to the second back through. That's Troy Lindsay. Lindsay. Gets up to the 23-yard line where he is hauled down after a three-yard pickup. Bill Fairbrother making a stop for the Aztecs. Troy Lindsay's brother, Tony Lindsay, may recall, outstanding runner for University of Utah the last couple of years. Second down seven coming up. Aztecs have no game next week. Then they go on the road the week after to Oklahoma State. And then they go on the road after that to New Mexico. And then finally come home to San Diego Stadium. First part of October to Iowa State. Nugent, back to pass. Pressured, fires, overthrown at the 40-yard line. Intended for wide receiver Jeff Champagne, a 6'1 sophomore from Aurora, Colorado. Good coverage by Vernon Dean. Sure was. Vernon is one of the uh, top defensive players. He may be the, one of the top defensive backs in the Western Athletic Conference this year. He's a uh, really good pro prospect. He works hard at practice. He works on fundamentals. He's got great speed and quickness. So he's looking at, forward to having a great year. This will bring up a third down and seven. This time, Champagne goes out wide to the left. Richie Hall to the right. Lindsey and Hendricks are the setbacks. On third down, Nugent back to pass again. Sets up. And it's going to be sacked. No. Is he down? Yes, finally he's down. Has good pressure from Brad Williams, defensive left tackle. And then Steve Allman and Mike Vance finished him off. First sack of the day for the Aztecs. Very good. They were in man-to-man -man coverage. They put a little pressure with their outside linebackers. Here comes, comes Williams with good job on offensive lineman. He gets the first, first contact, and here comes Mike Vance to finish him off. It's Terry, New Terry Nugent's a strong quarterback. He's 6'4", 217 pounds, so they're going to have to hit him, bring him down. He's not going to fall down easily. Punt by Templer, taken by Nobles, and Nobles... Gets it across the 45 and tripped up there, but gives the Aztecs good field position as they have hauled at Colorado State for the second time, and the offense comes back on the football field. All right, three to nothing. Aztecs lead it. We'll be back right after this. This bud's for everyone who wraps it, stacks it, and sacks it. This bud's for you. <laughs> for all you do, the king of beers is coming through. Yeah, just for you. That distinctively clean, crisp taste that says Budweiser. For all you do. This bud's for you. Isn't there anybody here? You're never alone at Dixieline Lumber and Home Centers. We have people on the job to help you, and we've got super prices. Only $1.99 for Red Devil Lifetime Caulk, the only caulk with a lifetime warranty against cracking, peeling, or separating while you own your home. Get years and years of real protection in all kinds of weather. Just $1.99 for an 11-ounce cartridge of Red Devil Lifetime Caulk. Come on in for even more specials and help from your friends at the Dixieline nearest you. Babbage, this is Ron Reina, Fort Collins, Colorado. Aztecs lead at three to nothing. And they take over the football with good field position at their own 47-yard line. Kochler has Kerry Williams and Craig Ellis in the backfield. 
Phil Smith sets out wide to the left. Darius Durham to the right on first down. Pitch to Ellis. Craig cuts in. Not much running room. Gets up to the 48-yard line. And that's all for what should be a pickup of about one yard as Colorado State's defense did a good swarming job that time. Yes, they do. They're a very active defense. They're big and they're strong and got a lot of quickness on that front four. That's why it's going to be really hard to run wide on them. And talking with uh, Tommy Freeman last night, one of the offensive line coaches, he said they're going to try to run a lot of traps up there and neutralize their speed and quickness. Hopefully they'll come across the line quick, makes an easy trap and in a nice big hole. They have a minute and a half to play in the first quarter. Aztecs on top, three to nothing. Kofler on second and nine. That sets up the pass. Fires over the middle. Wide open as Jim Botro, the tight end, takes it across the 40 to the 37 of Colorado State. Looks like they could throw that pass all afternoon. He's tried it three times and it's been open three times. Great protection by the offensive line. Botro just comes right across the middle. That's one of his favorite spots. He doesn't mind coming across and taking a few hits. He's a big, strong lad. Nice pass by Matt Kofler. Right on target. That offensive line consisting of tackles, Brian Scuddy, 6'3", senior from Orange, and Jerry Stabline, 6'5", senior from Fountain Valley, a couple of veterans. The real veteran, Daryl Yarborough, left guard. And the right guard is new, Rob Gilster, and center is Matt Long. First down, Aztecs from the Colorado State, 37. Kofler steps back, dumps it quickly. Durham, Darius trying to get upfield for some yardage, gets a few more after taking it in, goes to the 30, bumped out of bounds by cornerback Les Brown. Nice play, pick up a quick five. What impressed me on that play was Craig Ellis came out to the flat after Durham made his move. Craig Ellis came down and watch him block. Here's the move by Durham, and there goes Ellis, hustling up there, get a block, try to get that extra yards. That's just a quick out. The Colorado State defensive backs are playing off. They're giving a lot of cushion to San Diego State wide receivers, so they should be able to hit the short passes most of the day. Clinton Sampson checks in now as a wide receiver, sets up wide to the right, Phil Smith to the left, as the Aztecs facing a second down and four. Just shy of the 30-yard line of CSU. Kofler didn't like the defense, started to call an audible and decided to take a timeout. So Matt, the senior, calls for the timeout as the Aztecs lead it 3-0. That was a smart play on Matt's, Matt's part. Uh, he didn't like what he saw. He had a bad play. Didn't know what to do to get out of it. So instead of wasting it down or maybe even throwing an interception, might as well call a timeout and talk it over with the big man on the sidelines. I'd like to pass along greetings to Dr. Alan Coffin of La Mesa. He and uh, Cindy Azevedo are getting married today. And also I'd like to uh, pass along greetings to Elsie Coupe. Mrs. Al Coupe is in the hospital. Hope she recovers quickly. Aztecs, as I mentioned, will be home not until October the 10th, San Diego Stadium. The home season opens up against Iowa State Cyclones of the Big 8 Conference. And as you've already seen here in the first quarter, the pass is back in the Aztec attack. Aztecs and Iowa State. And then the week after that, BYU, an attractive five-game home season ticket package, which begins as low as $25. So stop down at San Diego Stadium, window F, as in fast, Monday through Friday, and get your season tickets for Aztec football. Here's John Featherstone, the Aztec sideline, as Matt Kofler telling his mates what to do on this play. He's facing a second down four. Matt out of Patrick Henry High. Long count. He's back to pass. Has time now. Flag down. And Matt finally, as the receivers were covered. Drop for a loss, and as you see the flag thrown in there, it might be holding. I think there was a little holding on the inside. I, either Rob Blister or Dale Yarborough. There it is, holding indeed. Colorado State, I would think, would decline it, though. We might be able to see. Matt's looking, sees nobody. There's a little pressure coming on, so instead of taking the beating, he falls down. Another smart move. Ball all the way back to the 40-yard line. Indeed, San Diego State, Colorado State says we'll take the advancement of the down and the loss of yardage. So again, the Aztecs will shuttle their tight ends with a play. John Jessup checks in for Butro, the tight end. Aztecs looking out at third and 14. Three to nothing, Aztecs lead it. We have 39 seconds to play. First quarter is Kofler back to pass. Now dumps it long, and it's going to be intercepted in the air by Colorado State at the 16-yard line. Larry Wilson, the safety, picks it off. 
going for the whole, whole ball of wax on this one. Smith is trying to get in the seam of the zone coverage. Slips a little, and there was Larry Wilson. Funny thing about Larry Wilson, his dad was a pretty good safety, too, in his day. He was the St. Louis Cardinals free safety, and now is an NFL Hall of Famer. So that kid's got good genes. He sure does. So on the turnover, the Aztecs lose the football, and Colorado State takes over first and 10 at the 17-yard line. Nugent on first down, gives to his fullback Terry Johnson in there now at fullback. He picks up a couple of yards. Johnson 6-1, a sophomore from Cheyenne, Wyoming. Check that Mike Hendricks. It is Hendricks. It's a good play by the middle of the line. Number 51, Allen Dale stays at home, cuts right back into him. It's a good tackle. Mike Vance closes it down, showing his strength on uh, 67, Joe Porter, who's a big man at 6'4", 262. Coming up to what should be the last play of the first quarter. Uh, the I formation. Terry Nugent, his back's divide. He's back to pass. And dumps it off to fullback. Hendricks hitting the backfield, gets away, moves up field across the 20, and carries it to the 23-yard line. So the Essex almost had him for a loss, but instead he gets close to first down yardage. Mike Fox read this play perfectly. The only thing that he didn't do was make the tackle. Of course, Lindsay's a pretty quick back. Almost had him there. It's a nice play by Mike Fox. And offensive coaches, Doug Scoville. Scoville coached such great passers as Roger Stahlback, John Brody. And now he brings that same passing magic to San Diego. The pass is back in the Aztec attack. Season tickets are available Monday through Friday at the stadium gate F or call 283-7096. The pass is back in the Aztec attack. All right, start of the second quarter. It's third down three, Colorado State at the 23-yard line. Nugent back to pass, sets up, fires, and completes it at the 30 for what should be a first down. Circling out of the backfield was fullback Mike Hendricks. Nugent now is three for six in passing. Uh, Kofler is eight for 12. Hendricks is the man in motion. He just throw a quick out. Hopefully they're, they're hoping that everybody forgets about him, and they did. Made a great catch on it. The pass was behind him. He had to turn around and make it. Nice play by uh, Mike Hendricks. Colorado State setting up at the 30-yard line with a first and 10. Mike Champ Jeff Champagne wide left. And Richie Hall wide to the right. On first down. Yeah, the straight ahead fullback. Hendricks gets nothing. Hit down the line of scrimmage. Good defensive play by Bill Fairbrother, who came slamming in there. Bill's a very physical, hard-nosed ball player. He's, uh, he's a real sticker. His biggest problem is he gets too aggressive and he gets out of his uh, territory. See right here, he sees the isolation play. He beats, beats the trap block and comes in and makes a fine play. Good tackle. Fair Brothers from Tustin played at Saddleback Junior College. So it's second down, 10, Colorado State. Sophomore Terry Nugent sets his ball club. And he's back to pass. Goes long, incomplete. Looked like a mix-up Colorado State's offense that time. Over the middle, pass was intended for tight end Mike Camp. Got a little linebacker blitz here. Here comes uh, Ellen Dale from the middle coming over, then Todd Seabombs coming in from the top of the screen. Champagne just didn't look. The pass was meant to go right in there. Bill Fairbrother back there on the coverage. So that should bring up a third and 10 Colorado State. Champagne sets it wide to the right. Richie Hall in the slot to the right. Nugent to pass on third down. Sets up, delivers, and it is incomplete at the 47. Good defensive play. Daryl Hall, the cornerback. Daryl had great coverage on there, and then he did the, did the thing that most defensive backs are supposed to do when they, get, when they close on the ball. They have to strip that receiver, break his hands off the ball. He did a fine job. So here in the early girling, we've had very good individual plays by cornerback Darrell Hall and Vernon Dean. Yes, they're very strong in defensive secondary. It's a fine play, he comes, and he strips the receiver of the ball. Very good coverage. Brings up a fourth down. Aztecs. From another angle. Just to turn in, and Hall closing on the ball, strips him. Templer to punt. Gets it away quickly as Gary Noble's back for the Aztecs, awaiting the kick, and takes it into the 24. Circling around, going the wrong way, looking for some room, not much there, and he's going to go nowhere and haul down inside the 20 of San Diego State. 46 yard punt, minus six yard return. But more importantly, the Aztecs have the football and they lead three to nothing.
to join us late Aztecs on their very first drive went 85 yards resulting in a field goal of 23 yards by Dave Meyer and the Aztecs lead it three to nothing. So from the 17 yard line San Diego State sets up shop offensively Ellis and Williams are the setbacks. Kofler to pass on first down. Over the middle again, tied and Jessup this time. And John takes it up to the 25-yard line. John Jessup, senior tight end. John's a good all-around tight end. He does everything well. He's not a real flashy type performer, but he gets the job done. And he's they've been talking that before his career is over, he could be one of the best tight ends to play at San Diego State. So the Aztecs pick up five yards on that play. And we, we sure want to thank Ball Olds, Ball Honda, for $100 a touchdown. Each time the Aztecs score a touchdown, Ball Olds sends $100 to the Aztec Athletic Foundation, and thanks to Dave Ball. Pass quickly, Darius Durham. Darius takes it across the 30, fighting cornerback Les Brown for the yardage, and gets one more to the 31, which should be six yards and a first down, Aztecs. Once so again, as you say, the cornerback's playing a little bit soft. They're taking advantage they're of playing, it. They're playing off about eight to ten yards and that opens up that quick five yard pop they should take advantage of that all day until they uh, bring those corners backs up and then fake that little short one and go deep first down San Diego State 31 yard line Phil Smith sets out wide to the left Durham to the right Kofler's just gone over 100 yards passing it's 10 of 14 this time handoff goes to Bull Williams not much running room Bull tries to get something out of it and at least gets back to the line of scrimmage Defensive line of Colorado State doing a job. Jeff Harper, Tom Ehlers, Earl Rezac, Andy Paremba, Scott Clough. They've got a huge defensive line. They're averaging about 250 pounds and about 6'4", so that front line of San Diego State has their work cut out for them all day. Ball placed to the 30 for what will be a one-yard loss. Second down 11, San Diego State. Bill Smith sets out wide to the left. Clinton Sampson to the right. Kofler to pass. Looks up field, fires. It's intercepted again at the 45-yard line by Colorado State and brought back to the San Diego State 34. Interception by Kevin, Kevin Sheasley. Sheasley, top linebacker. He tried to get over the top here. I think he forced the ball a little into the zone coverage. But those mistakes will happen. It's the first game. Try to do some things that you shouldn't be doing. It's going to Sampson across the middle. It's a deep slant. Cheesley made a fine play. He dropped very deep from his linebacker position. Made a fine interception. So Kofler has intercepted twice. Colorado State in Aztec territory for the first time today. Operating now at the 34s. Nugent to pass. Sets up. Fires and completes it. Jeff Champagne at the 21 yard line. Essex playing a little bump and run there. He played a little bump and run. Vernon hit him, gave him a good pop, but he spun off and he was wide open. I think Vernon lost his uh, balance a little after he gave him the pop. And he placed the ball at the 21-yard line. That's a first down for the Rams. This is the fourth time San Diego State and Colorado State have met last year. Colorado State won at 26-7 at San Diego Stadium. Essex lost here two years ago, 37-3. Nugent on first down. Hands off Troy Lindsay, the tailback. He takes it across the 20 to the 19-yard line where he's tripped up. Once again, the Aztecs were in a stunt. Dale coming from his right linebacker position behind the nose guard, Steve Allman, filling the hole and getting first piece. Play picks up two, and the Rams now have a second down and eight. Three to nothing. San Diego State on top of Colorado State. Rams threatening. Richie Hall sets out wide to the right. Jeff Champagne wide left. Out of the eye formation. Nugent back to pass. Sets up, throws to the end zone, and overthrow. Jeff Champagne down Nugent deep in the pass. corner of the end zone. He was one on one down there with, I believe, Vernon Dean. Yes, he was. Good coverage by Dean. They're one on one. The Aztecs are blitzing once again, trying to get some added pressure on uh, Nugent. Just throws a quick corner pattern not a quick one but a deep corner pattern okay. he's got a step or two on Dean it's just right out of his reach 
Perry Johnson comes in now at fullback, replacing Mike Kendricks for Colorado on third down and eight. Lugent to pass again on third down. Sets up, fires to the end zone, all open for a touchdown, Richie Hall. As Daryl Hall got tripped up in the end zone, wide open, Richie Hall, 5'7", junior from Thornton, Colorado, takes the touchdown pass from Terry Nugent. Richie Hall made a good move. He ran the pattern like he was going to run a slant pattern, and then at the last second, cut to the corner of the end zone, and the ball was sitting there waiting for him. Fine pass by Nugent and a good pattern by Richie Hall. You probably see it here on the replay. I don't know if we can see the receiver. There's the fake slant pattern. He's all by himself in the end zone. Lunch and specials, happy hour from 4 to 7, and lots of convenient parking. Or plan your next party here, too. Now, if you're in the mood for some good food and entertainment, the Aspen Mine Company has it all on El Cajon Boulevard. All are fine Fortuna-owned restaurants. At Hughes Stadium, Fort Collins, Colorado, the Colorado State Rams. Just gone 34 yards in four plays. Touchdown pass of 19 yards from Terry Nugent to Richie Hall. And the Rams lead it 7-3. And the interception set it up. So now, big good test, Bob, of the Doug Scoville Aztecs. See if they can bounce back now, not go in a slump. Right, this could be a very important drive for them. If they could move the ball, maybe even get three points, it would be a good morale booster. On the kickoff, heading for the end zone. It's Mike Fox at the goal line at the 5, 10, 15, 20. 23-24 yard line. Mike Fox led the NCAA in kickoff returns a year ago. Brings that one out 24 yards. The Aztecs will go to the offense now. First and 10 at their own 24 yard line. Okay, now we want the ball. I want a fumble play. You guys know it, all right? Matt Kopler has been intercepted twice here and early going, both times forcing it into coverage. He brings Darius Durham out to the right, Phil Smith to the left, and Donnie Roberts is in at a running back along with Steve Fogel, two new running backs for the Aztecs. Fogel redshirting last year after being injured on first down, Kofler to pass. Sets up, dumps it off, Donnie Roberts. He's at the 30, goes to the 31, 32 yard line. Gets good yardage. Donnie, 5'11", a junior from Temple City. Donnie's just a good all around back. He does everything well. He's got not great speed, but better than average speed. And it was just a little circle pattern coming out of the Coming out of the backfield, as you can see here, he just checks, see there's no blitz, and he releases and comes through. Letting the linebackers from Colorado State, who basically is a zone defensive team, get their 10, 15 yard drops, and then. There it is again. Eight yard pickup on the play. Aztecs with a second down and two. Aztecs in a wing formation this time. First time they've shown that. Kofler rolls out, dumps it off quickly. Roberts again. And Donnie just takes it, slipping out of the backfield. Bumped out of bounds by cornerback Les Brown at the 37-yard line for a first down. Donnie Roberts, a year ago, was starting running back, was injured in the very first game at BYU. And obviously got the year of eligibility back, so he is a junior. Roberts in a wing spot, just goes down about three yards and cuts to the outside into the flat. But All they want to do is pick up the first down. It's just for a quick five- or six-yarder. Unfortunately, we have a penalty down, penalty flag down, and maybe against the Aztecs, away from the ball, which would wipe out that first down. This is the fourth penalty against San Diego State. It is a 10-yard penalty. Holding. Now well, that hurts. Well, when you throw the ball a lot, you're going to get a lot of holding penalties. That's true. Second down and 11 yards to go. So now the Aztecs bring Jessup in a tight end in place of Boutreau with a play. Today's game being brought to you in part by the Aspen Mine Company, a Fortuna-owned restaurant where food and great service is an art. Second down, 11, San Diego State. From the 23-yard line. Kofler. Takes the handoff, rolls right, looks upfield, dumps it off. Nice catch coming into the backfield. Was Steve Fogel, the 5'8 senior from Huntington Beach. And Steve carries the ball up across the 25 to 26 yard line. I believe Steve's playing uh, this year. He was injured last year in redshirted, wasn't he? Right. After being one of the better uh, ball carriers the year before. It's just another uh, release out of the backfield and into the flat. They're just going to try. Instead of forcing the ball into the zone coverage, they're going to try to pick it up at five or six yards a pop. And I think they get about three or four on that one. So now they're looking at a third down and seven. 
Aztecs trail seven to three. Inside of 10 minutes, 9.48 to play and a half. On third down. Kofler to pass. Pressured, running out of there, in trouble, and Matt gets back to the 25-yard line, and that's all. As Colorado State was coming, Andre Augustine, number 75, making the stop, 6'2", senior from Los Angeles. He put on a good pass rush. He's their best defensive lineman in the, in the area of the rushing the passer. He was the uh, second team all whack last season. Here he gets around Brian Scuddy. In the backfield, no place for uh, Matt to go except down to the ground. So the Aztecs halted, fourth down. Mike Jeslin into punt. And for the first time, they'll punt the football. Mike Jeslin, the veteran. Richie Hall back for the Rams. From a year ago, back to kick the ball at the 15-yard line and gets it away. A low spiral. Richie Hall waits for it at the 30. Bounce around. The Aztecs will cover it and do. In fact, the person of John Jessup down to the 28-yard line. No run back. After a 48-yard punt. Not too bad. Not too bad. Good way to start off the season. <laughs> you bet your life. I think special teams are going to play an important part in this ball game before it's all over with. And the kicking game is going to be uh, very important, both from the punting standpoint and the uh, placements. Colorado State scoring a touchdown. Last possession comes to the ball again with Richie Hall wide right. Jeff Champagne wide left. Terry Nugent, the quarterback. They show motion this time. Person of Troy Lindsay. Give, though, is to the fullback. And straight ahead across the 30 to the 35-yard line. Good running. Colorado State's fullback, Mike Hendricks. He wanted to go up the middle, but they covered the middle. Yeah, that plugged up pretty well. He just bounced to the outside. For 71, Kevin Ritchie got a little too aggressive and wanted to get in on that tackle in the middle instead of staying home at his defensive uh, right end spot. The ball marked at the 35-yard line. Seven-yard gain, second down three, CSU. Nugent to pass. Blitz is on. Fires into the flat where Jeff Champagne takes it. Steps across the 40 to the 41. Vernon Dean there defensively. Just a little quick out for a first down. It's a lot of pressure on the cornerbacks when you're running a lot of uh, stunts and running a lot of blitz with the linebackers. Here you see both inside linebackers coming. Nugent just throws a quick out. Secondary playing off a little. They'd rather give up that quick five yards than have him get hit with a bomb. So it's a first down, Colorado State, at the Ram 41-yard line. Nugent gives the fullback Hendricks this time. Gets a couple of yards over the right side to the 43-yard line. Aztecs stack him up. Bottom of the pile, Alan Dale, linebacker. Along with Todd Seaball. Todd Seaball, right. Uh, it's a two-yard gain. Second down eight coming up for CSU. Aztecs home opener Saturday, October 10th at San Diego Stadium. Besides the aerial bombs of Coach Goldwell's exciting offense, you'll be treated to the Aztecs Air Spectacular. Largest fireworks display in the history of college or pro football. Tickets available at Stadium Gate F. Nugent to pass. Pressured, hit, and drop. And now flag goes down. Kevin Ritchie, junior veteran from Torrance. Once again, the Aztecs were in a blitz. They were coming up the middle. Kevin Ritchie put a nice move on the left offensive tackle, uh, Joe Porter. And gets in the backfield. Nice play by Kevin. Kevin was uh, worked for quite a while in the spring and this fall at nose guard, but then they just recently, in the last two weeks, moving back to defensive tackle, where he played the last two years. Well, he's playing at all three positions. He's playing the nose guard and both uh, defensive ends. One thing about the Aztecs, very thin in defensive line. So they have about three or four ball players in there, probably about five with Roger Bender and Kevin Ritchie. Uh, and Doug Reed's in there right now, number 60. So they're trying to get as many players as they possibly can in the game, keep them fresh, and... Uh, just keep coming with them. Just keep, keep them coming. All right, the penalty was against Colorado State holding, declined by the Aztecs, so it's now third and 18. Nugent to pass again. Pressured, knocked out of his hands by the on-rushing Kevin Ritchie. Aztecs getting a good pass rush. Kevin Ritchie's doing a really good job on Joe Porter. Joe Porter's a big man at 6'4", 262 pounds. And uh, in, their, in their media guide, they say this guy could be one of the best tackles in the Western Athletic Conference. Kevin Ritchie, using his speed, just gets right around him. Tremendous job by Kevin. He's made two fine plays in a row. Good pressure by the Aztecs. So, halting Colorado State, and the Rams will have to punt the football. 
Tom Templer steps back to his own 20, awaiting it. Double safeties this time for the Essex. Nobles and Roberts. And the kick is away. Short kick. Hughes Stadium, Fort Collins, Colorado. We're about 5,000 feet elevation, 60 miles north of Denver, as you see part of the crowd on the opener here at Hughes Stadium. The stadium of seats about 30,000. We have about 25,000 today for the opener. Their Rams are leading 7-3. Aztecs ball at the 43-yard line. Kofler on first down, sets up. Fires Durov, Darius. It's intercepted. Les Brown, cornerback at the 40. Back to the 50. Bonnie bumped out of bounds by Donnie Roberts. Ron, the there's a penalty flag. We might have a little interference there. Once again, Matt tried to force that in there. It was man-to-man -man coverage. He just looked at uh, Durham as the only person he looked at. He saw he was covered, and he still tried to force it in there. In fact, he was almost double covered. I think there's a little, uh, see it again from another angle. I don't know what the call is. Well, the official just signaled uh, during the replay that there was no penalty. He picked it up and waved it off. Probably stepped out of bounds. He waved it off, so no penalty. Colorado State, three interceptions of Matt Kofler passes. And the Rams have the football. Great shape at the Aztec 44-yard line. <laughs> Nugent on first down. Hands off Troy Lindsay and he goes nowhere. Let's take defensive line, stacking it up. Nice play by Todd Seba. Todd's playing a great ball game. He's a good, good linebacker. I've been up at a couple practices watching him. He's very aggressive, very tough kid, and he's got good speed and really knows the defense as well. He's a very smart ball player. Dave Crudup in now at left corner. He's 5'9, a junior from Los Angeles, transferred from Ventura, JC. Bernadine remains in at the right corner. Play gains nothing. Second down, 10. Colorado State with 6.18 to play in the half. It is 7 to 3. The Rams lead it. Champion out wide to the right. Richie Hall to the left. Nugent back to pass again. Drops it off and goes to the tight end, Mike Camp. And they call it uh, trap. Incomplete. Ball thrown low. Right in front of Bill Fairbrother. And Mike Camp, tight end. We have another flag on a play. We'll probably see a lot of flags today. Opening game, jitters, and make a lot of mistakes. And uh, players get a little nervous on that first game. Holding, you see, is the indication. What they're doing here is throwing a quick out to the tight end, trying to get it in the seam between the inside linebacker, uh, Bill Fairbrother, and the corner, Vernon Dean. So far, Colorado State rushing. 39 yards. Aztecs have run for 28 yards in this ball game. Aztecs are apparently going to take the penalty. So instead of third and 10, it'll be second and 20. And puts the Rams back in their own territory at their 44-yard line. Any time is the right time for Budweiser. Give it a try. The next time you and your friends have a night on the town. If you're looking for great taste, Budweiser's ready when you are. It's third penalty against the Rams. So second down, 20. Terry Nugent, the sophomore, back to pass. Blitz is on, pressure hit. Kevin Ritchie in there again. And a lot of friends as the Essex were really coming. Another good play by Kevin Ritchie. Kevin's really, Kevin's really having a great day against Joe Porter. Joe's one of the bigger linemen, and he's just blowing right by him. Kevin's just using his speed. Takes him to the outside. Aztecs once again in a blitz, having a weak side linebacker, both on the outside and in the middle, blitzing at the same time. So a further loss of seven yards back to the 33-yard line, where it is now third and about 28 for Colorado State. Nugent on a draw. Fullback Hendricks, and he goes nowhere. Boy, the Aztec defense is really fired up now. They've really come in in their own the last three or four weeks. Even in practice, talking to the uh, defensive coordinator, Bernie Miller, he said he was just really proud of this game because they were really unsure of what was going to happen with the defense, but he said in the last three or four weeks, they've just uh, really blossomed a good defensive unit. He slowed up at the line of scrimmage. And a fine play by uh, Allendale making the tackle. So on fourth down, after the interception, the Aztecs forced the punt from Templars. Last one, 25. That one almost blocked. Gets it away, though. Gary Nobles awaiting it. They're going to try a reverse, a fake reverse. Nobles at the 20. Cuts in 25, gets away at the 30, but a flag will go down. As good return by Nobles to the 35-yard line on a 48-yard punt. We may have a clip on the Aztecs. They're putting a lot of pressure on the uh, 
on Templer, the punter for Colorado State. They feel that the way Colorado State is lining up for their punt protection, that they could send play games with about two or three men in there and eventually get, a, get enough pressure to either block a punt or make him shank one off to the side. We have a fake reverse, not much of a fake, just something to get the coverage to think a little. To the side, and right here we have the clip. It's not a real, real noticeable one. I'd say a kind of a borderline. Borderline. So San Diego State will start deep in Aztec territory. And that will time out on the field. 434 left the play in the half. It is Colorado State 7, San Diego State 3. We'll be back right after this. Ball Olds has got the best sale you could ask for. Preseason discount sale prices on San Diego's largest selection of 1981 Olds, including diesels and V6s, plus GMAC's 13.8% financing. That's available till September the 23rd. You save $300 to over $1,000 on Ball Olds sale prices, plus you save another $1,000 with a 13.8% financing. Ball Olds preseason sale plus GMAC's 13.8% financing. It's the best sale anyone could ask for, and it's happening at Ball. Filippi's Pizza Grottos, home of San Diego's most popular pizza. Choose from a wide variety of pizzas, cheese, pepperoni and cheese, sausage and bell peppers, black olive or meatball, or maybe the works. Don't wait any longer. Order your favorite now at one of the convenient Filippi family restaurants in San Diego County. Voted number one in an evening Tribune poll, Filippi's Pizza is real Italian pizza, prepared and baked perfectly to suit your taste. Check the white pages for the one nearest you. The Filippi Pizza Grottos, they're real Italian. There you see along the sideline of Hughes Stadium, the Aztec pep squad coming up here for this opener at Colorado State as San Diego State takes over the football. First and 10 at the 13-yard line. Aztecs trail 7-3. And have four and a half minutes to do something about it. Darius Durham sits out wide to the left. Phil Smith in the slot. Kofler on first down, back to pass. Over the middle, tight end. John Jessup at the 20 to the 23-yard line. It's been a very successful successful pass for them today. They've hit it about four or five times now. All the tight ends are doing are going downfield about five yards and then just cutting right across the middle. Colorado State playing a lot of zone. Their linebackers are just dropping back for 15, 12, 15 yards, and that pass should be open most of the day. That play picks up nine yards, second down one, coming up for San Diego State. Twenty two yard line Matt long center over the ball out of the eye formation. Kofler rolls right looks up field still looking now he decides to run it now he decides the pass and completes it to Butro the tight end fine reception at the thirty seven right in front of linebacker Kevin Sheasley tremendous catch by Jim Butro. This young man has great hands and he has no no fear whatsoever. He just goes after that ball. He's a great pro prospect, and he has another year here at San Diego State. Great concentration, great catch. Well, the Aztecs get a first down. Move the football up to the 36 and a half yard line. Sheasley injured on that play and has led off the field. He's had injury problems. Right, he had a knee surgery this summer. He's just coming back off of it. He hasn't practiced too much from what people here at Colorado State have said. For tight end Jim Butro, the Aztecs has four receptions in the ball game. And we have three and a half minutes to play in the half. Aztecs trail 7-3. Anthony Kelly sets out wide to the left. And Darius Durham to the right. And first down. Give is to Donnie Roberts. Not much running room. Donnie makes something out of it. Keeps going at the 40 to the 45 and out of bounds at the Aztec badge. Good running, Donnie Roberts. Boy, it looked like he was going to be stopped twice. Sure did. He ran through two tackles. Don's a type of runner. He's it's a fairly strong kid. You have to put a shoulder into him. You can't arm tackle him. Here as he runs through another one and then runs through number 43 or 47, Greg Tillman, the safety. So he Fine run. Made something out of nothing to the 45-yard line, 46-yard line. Second down one, Aztecs. Go for the pass on second down. Sets up. 
And a little pressure now rolling to the right. Matt going to run it, and he'll have the first down. A little tippy-toe activity there. A little Rudolph Nureyev into Colorado State territory and a first down. Today's Aztec game being brought to you in part by the law firm of Hyatt and Stone, La Costa Plaza in Carlsbad. Another first down Aztecs. They're in Ram territory. The 49. Culver's carried the ball twice for 20 yards. Fogel and Roberts are the setbacks on first down. Matt back to pass. Has time, fires, complete, tight end at the 35 to the 33. As again, Aztecs throwing the ball to their tight ends, Jessup and Butro. that time John Jessup, the senior from Tustin. You have two tight ends that catch the ball and run patterns the way Jessup and Butro does. You have to throw to them, you can't ignore them. It's just right across the middle, they get in that seam between the linebackers, number 50, Reziak and... There it is. Here he comes, right across the middle. Right in that little crevice in the two zone areas. 33 yard line of Colorado State, a first down Aztecs. Kofler will go to the air again. Again, tight end. This time, Boutro, as he and Jessup alternate. And that one across the 30 down to the 27 yard line. Once again, just a little simple pattern. Five yards downfield and right across the middle. Might as well use it all the time. They're going to give it to you. Might as well take advantage of it. Absolutely. 218 to play in the half and counting. So the Aztecs fighting Colorado State and the clock at the ramp 27 yard line where they have a second down and five. Kofler sets the throw. Out of the backfield, Roberts, 20, breaks a tackle down to the 15 yard line. Donnie Roberts. So the Aztecs moving the football. That'll be a first down. Just the, Here Roberts, all he does is check if there's a blitz. There's no blitz. He comes out of the backfield. He's wide open. He puts a good mood on number 11, Ken Merton. It's another five yards. San Diego Looked State. Another angle. Good move there on Cheesley. Went on Merton. First and 10 Aztecs at the Colorado State 14-yard line. A minute 36 to play. Copeland rolls left. Looks downfield. Fires to the end zone. Touchdown, Aztecs! Jim Botro. He's having quite a day, isn't he? For a big man, he's got really good speed. He runs very good patterns. There he took the strong safety down to the inside and broke a little to the outside toward the corner, and the ball was laid in there perfectly. Nice pass, nice catch. 87-yard drive. Aztecs regain the lead. 9-7. Kofler's first touchdown pass of the season, obviously. Dave Meyer on to try the extra point out of the hold of Mike Jeslin. A high snap, and Jeslin and Meyer going after it, and unable to do so, so it'll be an extra point try that is no good. So the score is San Diego State 9. And Colorado State 7. We had another picture, another angle of the touchdown pass to Butro. It's a little in, in pattern and then breaking out to the corner of the end zone. Might say, incidentally, that the Aztecs' normal snapper on punts and extra points and field goals is Brian Scuddy. And Brian, earlier this week, broke some bones in his left hand, so he is not doing the snapping. And uh, so the Aztecs are a little hurting at that position. So the Aztecs score the touchdown on a pass from Matt Kofler to Jim Botro, 14 yards, and that'll cost Dave Ball to Ball Oldsmobile $100, which he is donating to the Aztec Athletic Fund every time San Diego State scores a TD. So Matt Kofler and Jim Botro got into Dave Ball's pocket for 100 bucks. I can see him do it a couple more times today. Well, we got time. We got two more quarters. Poor Lindsay and Richie Hall back for the round. And at 31 to play and a half. So Meyer setting the ball on the tee will kick off from the 40-yard line. He sent his first two kickoffs deep into the end zone. No run back. See what happens here on his third kick of the day. There's very little wind today, just a slight breeze. So that is not a criteria in the stadium. 
Myers Booth. 24, Richie Hall at the goal line, back up to the 5, 10, 15, and stacked up at the 20, 21 yard line. Richie Hall, the ball carrier. So Colorado State will go on offense, trailing in a ball game, 9 7. And only a minute 26 to do something about it at the 20 yard line. Well, as you can see already today, the pass is back in the Aztec attack. Aztecs feature Iowa State and BYU, an attractive five game season ticket package beginning as low as $25. So stop down at San Diego Stadium, gate up Monday through Friday and get your season tickets. First down, handoff, fullback, Hendricks, not much, a couple of yards to the 23. So apparently, Colorado State's not going to try to go for the bundle. I think they'll be satisfied just to run out the clock and uh, go in trailing by two points. Well, they don't huddle, they quickly line up. Second and seven, Nugent to pass now. Sets up, fires downfield. Jeff Champagne takes it in and steps out of bounds right in front of Dave Crudup. Where were we wrong? Well, but the Aztecs playing soft now. Let them have those true. kind all day. It's Little just about three. a 10-yard out. Aztecs are laying off. They don't want to give up the big yardage. They'll give them the, the short 10, 15-yard passes, figuring that they won't have enough time to run down and get a touchdown. They should run out the clock before running patterns like that. They'll run out the clock before they'll get down to a score. 33-yard line, first down, Nugent to pass, blitzes on, he dumps it off, and it's incomplete. Tried to throw to a back, circling out of the backfield. Terrence Johnson. Brad Williams putting good pressure on from his left defensive end spot. Now that stops the clock for Colorado State, a minute left to play. And to bring up a second and 10. Richie Hall sets out wide left, Jeff Champagne to the right. Terry Nugent has trouble with the snap now. Back to pass, rolls right, delivers, and incomplete. Oh boy, linebacker Alan Dale went over and really got a piece of the intended receiver, running back Troy Lindsay. It's a good effort by Alan Dale. So the incomplete pass stops the clock with 54 seconds left. At this rate, the Essex will get the ball back. Sure. This Essex defense has been very aggressive today. They're just throwing their bodies all around the field. They're throwing caution to the wind. Third and ten. Terry Nugent will throw it once more. Sets up. Going long this time for Champagne and overthrow. Little bumping match there with cornerback Dave Crudup. But incomplete. Incidentally, Champagne was born in Oceanside. And then his family moved uh, to Aurora, Colorado, where his dad is the mayor. It's good coverage by Dave Crudup on that. That particular play, he was step for step with him. That's fourth down. Aztecs will, in fact, get the football one more time. As Templer to punt from his own 20, double safeties for the Aztecs, Nobles and Roberts. Now, Aztecs, I was going to say, might try to block this one, but I see that they have uh, double safeties. Usually when the Aztecs have 10 men on the line, it's when they're trying to block. block it. Colorado State calling timeout. They were only 10 men on the field at the time. You are still allowed 11, aren't you? Yes, I think so. No more than 11. No more than 11, all right. You could have less than 11, but no more. So Sark Arslanian, the head coach, now in his ninth year, probably figured that out. Well, as you see, they're still having trouble deciding which is the 11th guy. <laughs> So Templer. I see there's another substitution. You're supposed to practice special teams on Thursday and Friday. Usually helps. Yeah, instead of Saturday afternoons. Forty-seven seconds remaining in a half. Aztecs lead at nine seven. Templer to punt from his twenty. And the kick is away. Aztecs did come on. And waiting for it, Gary Nobles at the 20. Tries another fake reverse with Donnie Roberts. Trying to get outside at the 20. Not much help there as two Rams Gary get to Nobles him and drop ball him ball. at the 20-yard line. After a fine 47-yard punt, 35 seconds left to play, and the Aztecs have the football again and a 9-7 lead. Well, Ron, what do you do? Run the clock out or go for the big one? I go for the big one. I would, too. Okay. You have nothing to lose. And as a head coach, I'm undefeated. So let's see what Doug Scovo feels about. First down, setting up wide to the right is Clinton Sampson, Essex with three wide receivers in a ball game. 
Smith and Durham wide to the left is Kofler to pass on first down. Aztecs are going Donnie Roberts. Screen. A flag is down. That was Donnie upfield. 25 to the 29 yard line. Might be holding, which is not really not a smart call on a screen. Offensive linemen don't really block that hard. They just kind of shadow block. The shadow block and get downfield. Here it is. Matt looking to the left nicely, trying to fake the defense out, and then throws to the right. Now, that's something Matt has improved at. Last year, he really telegraphed where he was going to throw the ball, looking at the receiver all the way. The thing with Coach Scoville, you have to improve. He's had so many great quarterbacks in his, uh, in his days. You go all the way back to uh, John Brody and then uh, Bob Lee at University of Pacific. Gifford and Nielsen. Gifford Nielsen. Jim McMahon, McMahon up there right now and uh, Mark Wilson before McMahon. So uh, he could really help out Matt. First down, 22 it's shown so far that he's, uh, he's taught him a few things about the passing game. Well, the penalty is against the Aztecs. Moves the ball all the way back to the seven-yard line. That's six penalties, 52 yards assessed against San Diego State. Aztecs will now just run the clock out. They have three backs in there. So Matt takes a snap from Matt Long. Goes down to one knee, 14, 13 seconds. So that should just about do it. Aztecs will be content to go to the locker room. Stadium, Fort Collins, Colorado. Aztecs on top, 9-7. to seven. Bob Babbage, Aztecs with a new program, new head coach, new coaching staff. Looked pretty sharp, I thought, in the first half. They did. They moved the ball very well. Uh, they've had a few mistakes, a couple penalties, a couple holding penalties that hurt them. And, of course, Matt tried to force in a couple passes in the zone coverage and had a few interceptions. But on the whole, I thought they played pretty good offensively. All right, despite the penalties and the interceptions, Matt has not had too much pressure throwing the ball. No, he hasn't. The offensive line, which was suspect coming into the ball game, is just doing a tremendous job on that big defensive line in Colorado State. All right, the Aztec defense, though. T. B O U R B E T. Halftime, Hughes Stadium, Fort Collins, Colorado. Aztec leading Colorado State 9 to 7. And a very happy man with me now, and that is San Diego State Athletic Director, Dr. Gene Burdett. Gene, Aztecs on top 9 7. And you had said for some time you were very impressed in the spring and the fall with this coaching staff at their organization. You've seen two quarters now. Well, I think we're having uh, first game jitters, and there's some adjustments that have to be made. Uh, the turnovers on the two long interceptions were tough to take, and also some holding penalties. But I think they'll get that sorted out. I'm real impressed with the way the team's playing. All right, now San Diego State, great bit of scheduling on the road for the next 55 weeks, it seems like, and then come home against Iowa State. Well, sometimes we have some scheduling problems at home, but uh, this year we have our first three games on the road, then we come home against Iowa State. On October 10, we're going to have a spectacular night. We're going to have a, a sky show synchronized with our great marching Aztec band, and we're going to have it with the uh, pregame, halftime, and postgame. So it should be a really outstanding home uh, opener. So that's a couple of weeks away, so obviously people can still buy season tickets for the home oh, campaign. That's right. Season tickets are still available and uh, also for the single games at our stadium office. All right, next Saturday, Aztecs have no ball game. They're off. Then the following week, they go to Oklahoma State. But I think you've got something unique coming up in Aztec athletics. This may seem odd, but it's a swap meet. Well, we're going to hold the largest garage sale in the history of San Diego County at our parking lot structure on College Avenue, just off Interstate 8, on uh, September 26th and 27th. That's Saturday and Sunday when the Aztecs are in Oklahoma. And uh, it will start at 7 in the morning and go till 5 in the afternoon, at, and it benefits our scholarship program. So we'd like to invite everybody to come out and have some fun. So in essence, it's a swap meet on the campus open to the public benefit of the athletic department that's right we'll be set up in the parking garage on all six floors all right, that's two weeks from the day now gene uh this week it didn't get much notice but you had a personnel change and then that you have a new track and field coach dixon farmer uh, tell us a little about dixon well dixon uh, is an outstanding coach uh, he just comes to us from the university of washington where he was head cross country and assistant track Prior to that, he was head coach at the University of Michigan, track and cross country. We feel very fortunate to have a man of his ability and experience, and we think he will be able to carry on the high tradition that Dick Hill uh, has uh, developed over the last nine years. So we're very excited about Dixon coming as part of our staff. All right, Gene, one last question. It's been in the news a lot lately, and it's hard to understand all of it, but the CFA, College Football Association, battling the NCAA. 
Now, the Aztecs and the WAC, by and large, have not chosen. Colorado, halftime. San Diego State leading Colorado State University 9-7. to seven. Our next guest here at halftime, the president of San Diego State University, Dr. Thomas Day. We didn't see you around. Uh, everybody no. said Dr. Day's going to miss his first football opener. No, I wouldn't miss that. My wife and I are enjoying it here. It's just wonderful. Okay, you've kind of been very closely attached to San Diego State football, and I'm sure that you, like everybody else in San Diego, concerned about the new Doug Scoville era. Well, I'm not concerned. I'm confident. I think that Doug's a great coach, and I think we got good players, and the combination ought to get us out of the hole. All right. Now, Dr. Day, uh, as Gene Burnett alluded to a moment ago, you probably didn't hear him. Uh, I asked about the ongoing battle in college athletics, the CFA, College Football Association, and the NCAA, in essence, over TV rights. And I guess it would be safe to say it's not going to be resolved in the next day or two. No, I think the current... Uh, calendar is that we're going to have a special meeting of the NC2A in the first week of December. I think, uh, at least I hope, everything will be on hold until then because I think that'll be a very important special session when the uh, Division 1A football teams will be able to finally have some reorganization uh, debate and things about TV rights then. Now, if you had your druthers, would, would San Diego State go along with what the other members in the WAC do, or would you rather just kind of sit back and see what the options are available? Well, at the present time, San Diego State is uh, unanimous with our WAC president's uh, brothers. We've put in a call to the NC2A to have on the agenda reorganization and uh, 1A discussion of football rights. And we've put in a call to the CFA to urge NBC to hold off any deadline. So I think the WAC is uh, unanimous in this regard. But that regard is we're going to hold open our options. Okay. Now, uh, one quick note. San Diego State School just started. Everywhere around the country, uh, enrollment's going down. San Diego State, not so. Well, I think that's a tribute to San Diego State's faculty, which is a fine fact. Ron Reno, along with Bob Babich at Hughes Stadium, as the fans here at the ball game are watching the band of Colorado State University. And you and I and Bob Babich are going to watch some highlights in the first half of play. As San Diego State, in the very first possession, here's Colorado State, Terry Nugent, back to pass. This is early in the ball game. Going long upfield. This was the touchdown, touchdown pass to Richie Hall. He faked the, faked the slant and then broke out to the corner of the end zone and uh, was sitting there all by himself. It was a fine pass and a fine executed route. Now, that was a 19-yard touchdown, which kept a 34-yard drive. It came about after a interception of a Matt Kofler pass. The Aztecs had led 3 to nothing. Then that touchdown made it 7-3, to three, Colorado State. But the Aztecs didn't fold up as here's Matt Kofler back to pass. Coming right back. And this is the touchdown score to... Butcher on the end zone, runs a fine corner, beats a strong safety man to man. Young man's got fine speed for his size, he yes, really he does. does. I, I know I said it earlier in a ball game, but uh, he impresses me. The more I see him, the more impressed I am by him. The tight end takes it in, a 14-yard pass from Matt Kofer, which incidentally capped a long drive of the Aztecs, 87 yards. They got the ball on their own 13, went down, and that was with a minute 31 to play and a half, so the Aztecs did in fact come back following the Colorado State touchdown, and so it was they had no good on the extra point try to make it 9-7 Aztecs. As you see the statistics in the first half, look at that. 24 pass attempts for San Diego State, 17, for, that's 41 passes uh, in the air. It's getting close. The thing that amazes me, though, is look at the uh, total yards for offense for Colorado State. That San Diego State defense is doing one heck of a job out there. Absolutely. 245 yards passing in a half. Uh, neither team uh, killing the other one, rushing pretty even in that department. And then the one thing hurting the Aztecs is the turnovers. Uh, three, and then also they've been nicked with some penalties, which have stalled drives. Yeah. But I thought that the offense, by and large, has looked pretty crisp. I do, too. You, you have to expect a lot of turnovers in the first game. Everybody's still getting acclimated to a game-type situation. Uh, there's a little pressure because you're really playing a, a league game right now instead of just practicing against each other. And a lot of times you try to get something in a hurry instead of being patient about it. And I know Matt uh, threw a couple balls in there. I think he was trying to get something real quick instead of being patient and working the ball down the field. But that'll work out. I think all the jitters are out. They have uh, two quarters of football under their belt. They're going to get in the locker room. They'll calm down a little and come out. And I think you'll see a little better better second half. Uh, I think they'll knock off some of the penalties and some of the mistakes that they made that cost them uh, in the first half. Now, this is no stiff they're playing. This club was second in the WAC last year back at BYU. Colorado State was 5-1-1 one, and one in the league. That's right. And they're one of the favorites to... Uh, for this to repeat to be uh, in contention for the title. So they're playing a good football team, a good sound football team, and a, a big football team compared to San Diego's size. So the Aztecs, in fact, do lead by a score of 9-7 to seven as uh, we're getting ready to start the third quarter of action. 
here at Fort Collins, Colorado, and Hughes Stadium. We'll give you some scores around the country. Obviously, this is the first big full Saturday college football. At the half, Tulsa leads Arkansas 7 0. A little upset in the making there. BYU leads Air Force 10 0. That's in the first quarter. Again at the half, it is Colorado 14, Texas Tech 7. And in the fourth quarter, Iowa leads Nebraska 10 7. Mm. At the half, Iowa State, an upcoming Aztec opponent, on top of West Texas State, 14-3. Also at the half, Missouri leads Army 10 to nothing. Again, at the half, Notre Dame, 14. LSU, nothing. That's at South Bend. Third quarter, interesting ball game. Oklahoma, 24. Wyoming, 20. Wyoming uh, must have a pretty decent football team. Cowboys are pretty good. Final, Penn State, 52. Cincinnati, nothing. It's a tough one. It's a very close run. Yeah, I guess it was. And also a uh, halftime score, Wisconsin 14, Michigan 7, number one rated Michigan, a down by seven at the half. They're always a slow starting football team. Though. Noticed over the years, Michigan's always had trouble early in the, early in the season. Slow starting, right. Wisconsin Trouble. just plain slow. <laughs> right. <laughs> First quarter score, Purdue 13, Stanford 7. That's at, uh, at Hughes Stadium. Colorado State Rams, San Diego State Aztecs starting to return to the field for the start of second half play. Some individual statistics on the ball game. Matt Kofler, 18 of 24. Very good for 195 yards. One touchdown. He's been intercepted three times, though. And conversely, Terry Nugent, of Colorado State, 7 of 17 for 68 yards. Aztecs have not given up any big ones to CSU, and he's thrown for one touchdown. Receiving Jim Butro, Aztec tight end, tops with six balls for 75 yards, a touchdown. While for Colorado State, Jeff Champagne has caught three to lead them. In rushing, neither club really with big numbers there, but uh, individually, Craig Ellis for San Diego State's run the ball four times for 10 yards. And for Colorado State, Mike Hendricks carried five times for 23 yards. You see Matt Kofler doing a little politicking right off the bat. Trying to help out his offensive lineman. Those guys aren't holding. <laughs> Bad calls. Well, uh, one thing is because of the uh, WAC officials, with so many teams in the WAC throwing the ball, throwing it a lot, uh, it doesn't surprise WAC officials. They are used to looking for a passing offense. As you see, Colorado State with only four co-captains. Only four. Only but four. But last year they came out with 40, didn't they? That's right. Now the Aztecs will counter that with five. You see Vernon Dean, Matt Kofler, Mike, Mike Jeslin, Daryl Yarborough, Mike Vance, and Mike Vance. Boy, Mike Vance is all league in eating. <laughs> there was a booster club, a, a, a barbecue the other night at the town and country. Mike Vance, quickest man, first in line, and had a plate that wouldn't quit. All league in that department. You, know, you could only eat so much dorm food and jack in the boxes and yeah, I guess McDonald's so. and Training things like table. that. Yeah, you're right. When you finally get a good meal, you have to take advantage Go of it. Go for it. Okay, the Aztecs in the second half will receive as they kicked off to start the football game. And San Diego State, as you note, with their white jerseys, red helmets, black pants, uh, homestanding Colorado State Rams, green and gold. Aztecs have beaten Colorado State only once, and that was the first time they met three seasons ago, and that was at San Diego Stadium. It was a heck of a game, went right down to the final minute. Steve Fairchild and Mark Halda had a shootout. And since then, Colorado State has dominated this series, albeit a short one. Aztecs would like to even it up today, as you see San Diego. Not 18, huh? Okay. All right, there you see Gary Zahner, one of the new Aztec coaches. He is handling special teams. Came with Doug Scoville from BYU, and the Aztecs have spent an awful lot of time in the spring and this fall working on special teams. Well, it's a very important part of the football game. You have to divide the game up into three parts. You have one third of it as offense, one third defense, and the other one third is a special teams. And uh, you could play well for two thirds of the game, offense and defense, but if you let down in the special teams area, you could lose a lot of ball games. So it's a very important part of football. A lot of people don't like to play on a special teams because they call it the suicide squads. They're very hard to play on it, but uh, you have to have the good special teams to be a good football team. The way to watch a football game. The only way. A little sun on the grass, some lovely ladies. A little fun. Bright sunshine. A few Budweiser's. Nothing wrong with that. So as you note on your screen, Colorado State in this third quarter will go right to left, the Aztecs left to right, and the Aztecs will receive to start the second half of play. They lead it 9-7. On a 23-yard Dave Meyer field goal and a touchdown pass of 14 yards, Matt Kofler to Jim Butro. Kofler, incidentally, hitting 19 completions in first half, hit his last seven in a row. It's coming up. 
too bad. All right, back deep for San Diego State, awaiting the kickoff. Mike Fox, along with Phil Smith, a couple of speedsters. And the kickoff, start the third quarter, deep into the end zone, and Fox, wisely, will touch it down, and the Aztecs will start out on their own 20-yard line. It's a nice kickoff by Daniel Webster, young man from uh, Colorado State. It's unusual. They have uh, John Poole, one of the best field goal kickers in the country, and uh, he doesn't do the kicking off. It's very strange. No, he did kick off last year, though, interesting enough. And uh, so apparently they've used a defensive lineman this year. To... But I, I can see, see why. why. That guy's not uh, too, not too shabby. No. He'll let her. It's thin air. It's thin air. That's the altitude. right. Aztecs first down at the 20-yard line with Matt Kofler, their center. Kerry Williams, alone setback. Craig Ellis sets up at a wing on first down. Kofler rolls left the pass, looks upfield, fires Darius Durham, and Darius, oh, they say he stepped out of bounds. Darius tried to keep his feet inbounds before going out. It's another close one, Ron. Close I one. thought he had that one down there in the end zone. It looked even on the replay. It looked like he touched in and looked like he had one foot in the bounce on this one. Boy, he has improved so much in all facets of the game. They he's always running, predicted big things for him. He's running good patterns, too. Plus, he has good hands. He's got nice, soft hands. The ball just sort of floats in there. So that pass incomplete breaks a string of seven in a row for Kofler, and the Aztecs now looking at a second down and ten. Phil Smith wide to the left, and Durham to the right. Kofler back to pass again. Dumps it over. Ellis out of the backfield. 25, 30, running up field. Goes all the way to the 35-yard line. Craig Ellis. They're getting a lot of mileage out of that little pass to the back, coming out of the backfield late after he checks that there's no blitz. Here we see it again. Ellis checking, nobody's blitzing, sneaks out between the tackle and the end, wide open in the middle, puts a good move on, and goes upfield for another five or six yards. 15 yards. Another angle. Up. There's a good block here by Jim Butro, knocking down uh, Riziak, the middle linebacker for the uh, Rams. 14 yard gain, first and 10, Aztecs. Again, a wing formation. Kofler will go to the air one more time. Upfield, it goes. Ellis, one more time. Craig. Catches it and hangs on to the ball and then uh, brought down at the 46 yard line for what would be 11 yard pickup, but there is a flag on the field. On, doing it. We'll see what this call is. Matt Kofler talks to the official. But I believe it'll be against the Aztecs. Craig Ellis runs a very good pattern. He comes out at backfield. He's going to be a very very important member of this Aztec uh, offensive team. He could do so many things. He runs the ball very well. He's a good receiver. He's got great quickness and moves, and they call him Mr. Magic. I guess that's because he makes things happen. All right. Let's see what the call is. Is that not uh, illegal man downfield? One of the linemen wanted to become a receiver. Trying to, what's they call, cover too quickly. Linemen are taught that after the ball is thrown and completed, a move downfield to help out blocking. So they run drills and they call it cover. You'd be surprised. They hustle downfield after uh, somebody catches the ball. One, of the, you know, somewhere along the course of a ball game, of course, this season, they're going to break a couple for a touchdown just because of that extra effort from one of the offensive linemen getting down there and throwing a key block. So that'll wipe out an 11-yard pass completion. Walk off takes the ball all the way back to the 20-yard line. So that is painful. Well, the big thing so far is. I don't think Colorado State has been stopping the Aztecs as much as they've been stopping themselves. Good point, Bob. 9-7 the score if you just joined us. Aztecs on top by two. And a touchdown, which they failed to make the extra point, and a field goal. So the Aztecs on top by two points, 9-7. to seven. We're early in the third quarter, and the Aztecs now looking at a first and 24. Matt Kofler, back to pass. Fires complete again to the tight end. This time it's Jim Botro who's having a big day. That's eight receptions for him unofficially up to the 34-yard line, getting a big chunk of yardage back from the penalty. Just about back to the original line of scrimmage. Here it comes again. It's just that this one's a little deeper. It's a 15-yard slant across the middle. And Botro likes to go across the middle. He doesn't mind that contact. He's got good hands. And I guess if you're 6'3", 225 pounds, you could best branch bench press over at 400 pounds. I mean... What's a little defensive back going to do to you? Certainly. Second down, 11 Aztecs at their own 34. 
One setback is Kerry Williams. Kofler will put it up again. And fires, completes it again. Tight end, this time Jessup breaks away and finally hauled out of bounds down deep in Colorado State territory by the bench of the Rams. But again, there's a penalty flag against San Diego State. And it looks like it's holding again, Ryan. Well, it just shows you to go. You got shows to go. <laughs> shows to go. Yeah, there you go. That's easy for me to say. Uh, we have two fine tight ends is what I'm trying to say here. See another fine pattern. This one by Jessup. Breaks to the outside, right in the seam of the zone. A finely thrown ball by Kofler. Good extra effort by Jessup. So it'll all be wiped out, though. Aztecs will be nailed with a penalty. Holding is indeed the call. Has eight penalties against the Aztecs for 89 yards as Sark Arslanian, head man of the Rams, paces the sideline. The football now is at the 19-yard line, where it'll be second down, Aztecs. They have to go all the way to the 44 for a first down. And the second and 26. Kofler. Fires slant and Phil Smith. Smith trying to get some yardage after taking it in. Hauled down at the 27-yard line. Safety Greg Tillman making the stop on Phil Smith. So Phil catches his first ball as an Aztec and as a wide receiver. Once again, they're in the zone coverage. Kofler throwing just a quick slant into Phil Smith. They're trying to make the Colorado State defensive backs come up a little bit closer, but they're hanging off about 8 to 10 yards, so you might as well take advantage of that short yardage, and hopefully you could break one, pick up their 8 or 10 yards, maybe get a fifth, make it break a tackle, get 15 or 20 yards out of it. So now it's third and 17 Aztecs at their own 27-yard line. Matt will go to the air again. Fires long. Boutro, or Jessup rather, couldn't quite get to it. As knocking it down 47, Greg Tillman, the safety. Now, that was interesting enough, Jessup was behind the defense. Yes, he was. They must have been in a man to man coverage. I didn't quite see it. It was hard to see here on a modern monitor. Kofler's looking him off. Now he throws deep. Just a deep pattern down the middle, straight. I guess they call it a straight pattern. Nice play by Tillman. He comes over from a strong safety spot and makes a fine play. Aztecs halted, so they'll have to punt the football. Jeslin will kick it away from his own 15-yard line. Jeslin, good athlete, played quarterback in high school, an excellent racquetball player as he gets this high spiral of dandy. Richie Hall backing up on it at the 23-yard line, looking for some help. Running laterally, cuts back and up to the 28-yard line, and that's all as the Aztecs get to him there. That'll put Colorado State on offense. With the Ram 28-yard and following a 50-yard punt by Mike Jeslin. Oh, love that altitude. It's great. And so it's still 9-7 Aztecs, 12-27 to play third quarter. Can't find the new Honda you want? Then come to Ball Honda because truckload after truckload, day and night, the new Hondas are coming to Ball Honda. Over 500 new Hondas sold in the last three months. Why? Because Ball Honda gives you what you want biggest selection of new Hondas in Southern California at the lowest prices. And now, during Ball Honda's pre-season sale, Ball's prices on 1981 Hondas are lower than ever. So act now. Come to Ball Honda today. Lately, it seems every bank and savings and loan in town is saying their electronic banking machines are best. Well, the 24-hour teller race is on, and San Diego Federal is out in front. San Diego Federal was first at the airport, first on campus, and first throughout the county with more locations than any other savings and loan. When it comes to round-the-clock convenience, San Diego Federal is leading the way, 24 hours a day. At Hughes Stadium, Fort Collins, Colorado, with Bob Babich, this is Ron Rita. It's a 9-7 ball game. San Diego State on top of Colorado State. Rams ball first time in the second half. Operating from their own 29-yard line. Shotgun formation. Quarterback Terry Nugent. Pressured anyway. Fires and completes it to the tight end. Camp at the 35-yard line. Mike Camp, 6'3", senior from Costa Mesa. Well. Reader, something new. Trying to stabilize that Aztec rush. Going to the shotgun. Uh, Rick Reader needed one more step, and he had himself a sack. Well, the Rams pick up yardage to the 30, just over the 35-yard line. It was a seven-yard gain. Looking a little shotgun. Back to the conventional eye formation. Nugent sets his club. 
And back to pass anyway. Sets up, fires, long overthrow and attended again for tight end Mike Camp. Camp had a step on uh, the Aztec defense. Mark Coleman is in at safety along with Mike Fox. The Aztecs on their strong and weak safeties do not flip-flop with the formation. They just shift forward and back. While they, they will flip-flop the cornerbacks and the outside linebackers. Yeah, the inside linebackers, I think they leave the outside linebackers. Or, I beg your pardon, yeah, the yeah. inside linebackers. I know you want to treat the beer drinkers that you know to the very best, so the next time you have guests, make sure you have plenty of cold Budweiser on hand a day like today. Third down three, Colorado State. Hendricks in motion right. Nugent the pass, sets it up, and knocked away. Good play by cornerback Dave Crudup, a 5'9 junior from Los Angeles, transferred from Ventura JC in the Aztecs hold. They tried that in the same, same situation in the first half when it was third and short. This time Dave Crudup read it perfectly, came up and almost picked himself one off for a touchdown because there was nobody there to stop him. So the Rams will have to punt the football back to San Diego State. Tom Templer back at his 23. Aztecs with double safeties. And a kick is away. A high spiral. Gary Nobles calls for the fair catch and fields the ball at the 16-yard line. And in that spot on the football field, San Diego State, after a 41-yard punt, 49-yard punt, pardon me, will go to the attack, leading in a ball game 9-7. San Diego takes over. So, Bob, I have been very impressed, I don't know about through your eyes, but uh, with the Aztec defense so far today. They've been playing very well. They've been doing a lot of things. They don't show the Colorado State offense the same thing twice. They, they're mixing it up. They're sending linebackers from all ends. They're uh, stunning with their defensive linemen. They're changing their coverages up from man-to-man to, -man to uh, zone. Here we go offensively. Quarterback Matt Kofler sets his club. Matt rolls right, looks upfield. Fires and completes to Phil Smith. No, the official says incomplete, and the Aztec bench doesn't particularly like that. I would guess the call is that he juggled the ball, didn't have didn't full have possession. possession. Getting back to the defense, Ron, is that uh, they're mixing up uh, Terry Nugent, the quarterback. He's just a sophomore, doesn't have a lot of experience, so they're showing him a lot of things. Here, Kofler on a short rollout, throwing a deep out to uh, Smith, and it looks like he's juggling the ball a little before he didn't have possession when he went out of bounds. Turned an ankle a little bit, so he goes out. He'll be second down at 10. As the Aztecs operate from their own 18-yard line. Anthony Kelly in a one-wide receiver as Kofler back the pass again. Pressured, rolling out of trouble. Still trying to look, look up field and fires it finally to Craig Ellis. And it's complete. Oh, my, what a play. Nice catch by Craig. They were trying to go to Butro across the middle again, but the the Rams were in man-to-man -man coverage, and Tillman was on him pretty hard. That's what uh, got Kofler in a little trouble, and they start running out of there. It's a good job to evade call. And then Ellis comes back for the ball, makes a fine diving catch. Boy, Craig Ellis showed me something there. He's had a good summer camp, and I guess he had a real good spring also. He's really coming into his own as a running back. The Aztecs pick up eight yards up to the 26-yard line. It is third and two. Kofler to pass on third and two. Tight end again. Oh, what a catch. John Jefferson. And we got a flag down. Great catch by Jessup. Boy, and Jessup was in heavy traffic. Well, when you have two, two fine tight ends like that, uh, it's hard to keep them both out of the lineup. They both do a tremendous job. They run good patterns. They block well. All right. They have good speed. And the best thing is they could both catch across the middle, and that's very important for a receiver. Here's Dan Kesey checking in, the right guard for Rob Gilster. Kofler going across the middle, trying to get the first down. Fine crutch, catch, extending himself across the middle. Every time, any time a receiver extends himself across the middle, he's really jeopardizing his career because he's wide open for a good, good shot by one of the defensive backs, especially into the ribs. Penalty is against Colorado State. It's about time. And whatever it is, Aztecs decline it because they'll take the first down. Pass. Oh, that's right. It was pass interference. So Aztecs have the first down at their own 34-yard line. Ten and a half minutes to play, third quarter. San Diego State on top, 9-7. Clinton Sampson out wide to the left. On a first down. 
Kofler turns, hands off running play. Craig Ellis flags down as Craig on a trap, carries the ball up to the 40-yard line for about a seven-yard pickup. Colorado State was blitzing one of the corners from the open end of the field or the top end. It's going to be offside, Colorado State. Like one of the linemen jumped. Being a first game, there's going to be a lot of penalties. And the Aztecs probably will take this because that'll keep it at first down. Five yard walk off up to the 39 yard line, which will make it first and five. Penalties. Aztecs have been nicked eight times. Colorado State now five times. Anthony Kelly wide to the left. Clinton Sampson sets out to the right. Craig Ellis on the wing. Lone setback is Kerry Williams. Kofler might be changing the play. Line of scrimmage. Matt back to pass. Blitz is on. Pressured. Rolling out of there and in trouble and goes down. Back at the 28-yard line. So a good defensive call by Colorado State. Yes, it was. Number 47, Greg Tillman, from a strong safety position, can blitzing right up through the middle. I don't believe San Diego State was expecting that one. So Aztecs had a real advantage being a first and five after the penalty, but now... Kofler sacked, lost back to the 29-yard line. There's a safety blitz. Essex have to go to the 44 for first down. So it's now second and 15. Matt will put it up again. And does. Tight end. Butro up to midfield. First down, Aztecs. That has no problem. No problem whatsoever. 15, 17 yards, easy to get. Butcher running down, coming across the middle, and he's right in the seam of that zone. Once again, making a fine catch, running a fine pattern. From field another level. Of this. Good camera work. It's set up. Nice throw. Kofler zipped that one in there. Butcher making another fine catch. Running over Tillman. He has eight receptions for 110 yards. Have First down, Aztecs. He's having a great afternoon. San Diego State at its own 49-yard line. High formation. Deep drop. Ellis, the tailback, takes it and runs through a couple of would-be tacklers, carries it into Colorado State territory to the Ram 45-yard line. Craig Ellis. The Aztec offensive line doing a nice job. They are. They're doing a very good job. Been really impressed with them. They're working very hard. They're sustaining their blocks. They're opening up the holes for the running game, although they're not using the running game that much, but still they're getting their four or five yards when they get, when they get the ball. Ellis running there on a sprint draw. So San Diego State in Ram territory at the CSU 46-yard line. Five-yard gain. It'll be second and five. It also makes it a lot easier when you have a back that has the speed and the quickness that Ellis has. He gets up in that hole real quick. You don't have to uh, sustain that block a long time. You can just shield it, and he's right through there. And that's a very important thing in the running game. Durham to the left. Kelly to the right. Second down. Aztecs passing again. Tight end. This is Boutro, and he carries the ball down to the 35-yard line of the Rams, where what should be a first down yardage, but there is a penalty flag down. Once again, just that little short slant across the middle. And that's going to wipe out a first down. A San Diego State holding. There you see it. So the Aztecs will be pushed back once again. That'll be the ninth penalty assessed against San Diego State. Aztecs home opener Saturday, October 10th in San Diego Stadium. Besides the aerial bombs of this offense of Coach Goble, he retreated the Aztecs air spectacular. Here it is. Another shot of the quick slant over the middle. Boutro bowling his way through, taking four or five men to bring him down. You can get tickets for that Aztec home opener against Iowa State at gate F, window F, at San Diego Stadium, Monday through Friday. So the penalty puts the ball back to the 40 of San Diego State, second and 19. Kofler will try to make it up through the air. Fires, long, Durham, nice catch, but unfortunately out of bounds, right from the CSU bench. Boy, that's a, the one thing that Darius can do is leap. So the incomplete pass will bring up a third down. 
Today's game being brought to you by Mr. A's, a Fortuna-owned restaurant where food and service is an art. Mr. A's, Fifth and Laurel, San Diego. Third down, 19. Phil Smith back in there. He sets out wide to the left. As Copler back to pass, sets up, fires, long. Clinton Sampson. Oh, he drops the ball, 25-yard line. Right in his hand. Sampson had beaten cornerback Les Brown. Great pass by Kofler. So, incomplete pass brings up a fourth down. Let's take a look at it. Because Matt sets up real well, and he just lets it go. Sampson beating his man. Just momentarily took his eye off the ball and let it slide through his hands. You know, with all the times the Essex had put the ball up today, that's the first drop that I can recall. That's it was right. a catchable ball. Well, Jeslin the punt from his own 30. In his football game, Mike Jeslin the Aztecs, three punts, averaging 50.3 per punt. Nice way to start off the season. That's your life. So it's first down, Colorado State at the Rams, six yard line as the Aztecs, seven yard, I will call it. And that punt by Jeslin, not especially good field position. Quarterback Terry Nugent on first down, sets his club, high formation. Turn, give on the pitch to tailback Troy Lindsay, he'll go nowhere. Boy, that swarming defense, and in fact, it may be a little too swarming as Aztecs were all over their man with the ball. Vernon Dean, Mike Fox. A good hit by Bill Fairbrother. He had the first contact. See, the penalty is unfortunately going to be either a face mask or a late hit against the Aztecs. So that'll get Colorado State out of deep field position, a break for the Rams. Maybe we can see it if it is a face a little, mask. little sweep here to... Lindsay, and here comes Fairbrother from his inside linebacker Boy. position. Nice shot. Vernon Dean. Good and Vernon Dean was there too. And oh, there it is. There's there it is. There's the mask. face mask. Yeah. Bill got a little carried away. Todd Seaborn. Being a very aggressive linebacker that he is, he just got a little carried away. First down at the 20 for the Rams. Nugent. Lindsay can, and he's hit for a loss behind the line of scrimmage. Once again, it's Fairbrother. He stayed home, took care of his responsibility. Lindsay cutting back, but right into Fairbrother. You know, you don't mind aggressive mistakes because those are the kind, okay, you're going to have them during the course of the ball game, but I'd rather see a ball player, and I know the coaching staff would too, I'd rather see a ball player aggressive and going all out, even though if he makes a mistake, big deal, at least it was an aggressive one. So the officials spot the ball just shy of the 20. We'll call it no gain. Second down 10 coming up for the Rams. 9-7 ball game. Aztecs on top by two points. On second down. Nugent back to pass. Sets up, fires over the middle, it completes that. Tight end camp all the way up to the 40, 42 yard line. So the Rams taking a page out of the Aztec book, going to the tight end in the seam. Mike Camp with the reception. First down, Rams. It's the same play the Aztecs have been running. Camp coming in from the top of the screen right across the middle, right in the seam of that zone, right over the linebacker's head and in between the safety and the cornerback. Vernon Dean making the tackle. Oh, Rams on the move at the 41 yard line and the second first down of this drive. Nugent sets his club. Hand off inside and a fullback up the middle. It is fullback Hendricks all the way into Aztec territory to the 31 yard line. Check that Terry Johnson Terrence Johnson number 38. Johnson's another one just coming off of uh, a knee injury, he didn't practice too much this summer, and he's playing very sparingly. It's just a quick trap right up the middle. There's a giant hole in there. A lot of running row. All Johnson's right. very quick starter. He's got, he's got great quickness, and he gets off the ball very fast, and he hit that hole just perfect at the time. 29 yards on that run, and a first down. Rams in Aztec territory to 31. Pitch, Lindsey trying to sweep on the right side. Aztec trying to string it out, he gets a block, and then finally Mike Fox knocks him out of bounds at the 26-yard line. Colorado State has had good running backs over the last three to five years. And uh, playing now with some newcomers after Alvin Lewis, their outstanding running back, graduated. This picture, he sets up Todd uh, Seabaugh. Todd thought he was going to cut back in. He put a good move on there. Tim Fox coming from his weak safety, making or Mike Fox, rather, making a fine tackle. At the 26-yard line, it'll be second down five, Colorado State. Rams have yet to have a turnover today. On second down. 
Here's Lindsay again, a sweep to the short side of the field. And he gets very little this time as Alan Dale from his inside linebacker's position, position really hustled over there. And along with Fair Brother, pushed him out of bounds. The Aztec linebackers aren't really big, but they've got a lot of quickness there with uh, Dale and Fair Brother. Seabaugh's very quick. Uh, Rick Reeder. You can see Dale from his inside linebacker reading it and just coming in, making a nice play. Of course, Fair Brother's there. A little short of Dave first down yardage. Third and one. Colorado State at the Aztec 23 yard line. Nugent sets his club. Two tight ends. Give fullback. First down. Colorado State down to the 15 of the Aztecs. Terrence Johnson again. Mike Hendricks make that this time. They keep alternating their fullbacks. Johnson and Hendricks. That's 39 Hendricks. A senior from Burlington, Colorado. Rams on the move. Start at their own six yard line now at the Aztec 15. We have five and a half minutes to play in the third quarter. Fred Latimer in at a running back now for Colorado State number 43 a 5'11 freshman. Nugent on first down. Gets Latimer hit by the line of scrimmage gets away and then hammered by the Aztecs for a loss. Aztec defense rose up, did a good job. Todd Seaboy in there, along with Bill Fairbrother. Sure and watch the Ducks. Here it is. Richard Slaney, number 94, coming through, making the first contact, and then a whole host of San Diego State linebackers. Sure and watch the Doug Scoble show from the Aspen Mine Company restaurant on El Cajon Boulevard, part of each Sunday's Aztec replays of football games, which will be on XETV 6 at 4 o'clock. Loss of two, second and 12. Nugent to pass, sets up, looks to the end zone, fires deep. Champagne has it, touchdown. Looked like the same pattern they ran for the first touchdown, the Richie Hall, who came in, faked the slant, and then broke back outside to the corner. It's a fine touch on it by Nugent. So I can't see the receiver. You know he came inside and he broke back out. It's a nice touch by... Terry Nugent, big quarterback. He's 6'4", 217 pounds. So the Rams regain the lead by a score of 13 to 9. Extra point try now by John Poole. And the kick is on its way. It is good. So a 94-yard drive in 10 plays culminated with a 17-yard touchdown pass. Terry Nugent to Jeff Champagne. Rams lead it. 14 to 9. We'll be back right after this. If you've been running around town, kicking about the idea of new athletic shoes, do yourself a service and get the net result you've been looking for at Second Soul. You'll find over 200 models for every sport. And Second Soul isn't just a name. It's an offer. Every pair of shoes from Second Soul gets a free factory resole, doubling the life of your shoes. Join the winners at Second Soul. Back to school offer from Second Soul. Now with any purchase, receive two free weeks at Family Fitness Center. Sofa Bed Conspiracy is quitting business. And this week, you'll find everything in both our stores drastically discounted. We must be out of our building soon. Everything must go. Incredible values like San Diego has never seen before on all sofa beds and accessories. Over $300,000 worth of merchandise must be cleared out now. We're discounting prices up to 50% off. And the sale is going on right now. But you better hurry. With prices this low, the sale won't last long at Sofa Bed Conspiracy. Sofa Bed Conspiracy, we treat you right. We're the nicest. Colorado State Rams on a very impressive drive going 94 yards starting at their own six after Mike Jeslin punt and 10 plays he scored a touchdown 17 yard pass quarterback Terry Nugent wide receiver Jeff Champagne and so now they lead it 14 to 9 we have 427 left to play here in the third quarter the Aztecs awaiting the kickoff of Mr. Webster Colorado State Deep Phil Smith and Mike Fox for San Diego State. Webster, left footed kicker, approaches the ball. There it is. Towards Mike Fox, deep in the end zone. He'll run it out. Now nah, changes his mind wisely. 
and decides for the touchback. The Aztecs will take over the football at the 20-yard line. I want to remind you to watch the Doug Scoville show from the Aspen Mine Company every Sunday. Part of each Sunday's Aztec replay at 4 p.m. here on XCTV6. And the Doug Scoville show brought to you in part by Coca-Cola Modeling Company of San Diego and by New Corp Corporation, also by Nuttall Styrus. And Matt Colfer brings his club to the line of scrimmage on first down. Durham sets out wide to the right. Phil Smith to the left. First down, Kofler rolls out, pressure, in trouble, hit, and thrown for a loss at the 11. Kevin Sheasley, the linebacker. So Aztecs lose yardage. You have guard Daryl Yarbrough pulling out to protect Kofler, but Sheasley comes in right from behind him. Don't think Daryl ever saw him, neither did Matt. So a loss back to the 12, an eight-yard setback. Aztecs now with second and 18. Kofler to pass, sets up, now dumps it off out of the backfield and take it in and falling at the 15-yard line, Steve Fogel. So he could have had some yardage, but he lost his footing. A pick of about three yards is all. Aztecs now looking at third and long yardage, third and 15. Kofler has 251 yards passing in this ball game. Today's game being brought to you in part by Ball Osmobile Honda on the mile of cars in National City. Third and long, Aztecs. Matt Kofler back to pass, pressure, rolling out of there to the right, looking for help. And decides to run it himself at the 20. 25 goes to the 30. Bumped out of bounds there. There is a penalty flag downfield. Kofler's run just short of first down yardage. He was looking for Darius Durham, but Darius had double coverage, and one of the defensive backs bumped him out of bounds. Got him off stride. Colorado State. Defensive holding. Ooh, that could be helpful. So it might have occurred. Matt getting a little pressure, rolling out. Looking from Durham. Can't find an open receiver. Decides to put the ball away and run for it. Now he's got to go to the 30 for a first down. Yeah. He saw the flag there, and he's just short of the 30-yard line. Let's see where they mark this penalty. This could be a big break for the Aztecs right here with 2.55 to go in the third quarter. Nice defensive holding. Boy, a big upset in college football today. Iowa 10, Nebraska 7. Hawkeyes are back. Mm. To the 34-yard line, the walk-off on defensive holding. That's a first down San Diego State. So that was a big break. On first down, slot formation. Kofler back to pass. Over the middle again and dropped by Butro, but he had to reach back for it. Well, not a well-thrown ball by Kofler. He's thrown a little behind him. That's a tough catch to make. Uh, that's incomplete. Bring up a second and ten. See it again. Chuck cuts across. Matt, a little behind him. It might have been deflected a little bit by an on-rushing defensive lineman. At any rate, it is second and 10, Aztecs. They trail in the ballgame 14 to 9. Kofler to pass. Steps up quickly. An out pattern incomplete intended for wide receiver Anthony Kelly, a 6'1 junior from San Diego. Transfer from Mesa, JC. Incomplete pass will bring up a third down. Now, there again, the corner on the weak side was playing very soft, and that's just a quick out to get some yardage. Right. Try to pick up seven or eight yards and maybe even get a first down out of it. That shows you the strength of uh, Matt Kofler's arm. That's a hard pass to throw. You're talking about all the way across the field to the outside, and he still had a lot of zip on the ball. As the Essex are operating from the right hash mark. This time, Kelly sets out wide to the left. Durham to the left. Check to Sampson. 
on third and ten. Kofler back to pass. Now dumps it off Donnie Roberts. A screen. Donnie 30, 35, and to the 37. Going to be short of first down. And now a flag goes down belatedly, a late flag. As Rams were very aggressive defensively. Greg Tillman in there, the hit. And Larry Wilson also made a nice play on that for the for the Rams. See what the call is. The Aztecs hope it's a late hit call. Because the pass play and run was short of first down yardage. Personal oh foul. my. All right, personal foul. First down Aztecs. Colorado State with a dumb move there. See, just a screen pass to Roberts. There's a couple linemen out in front of him. Wilson making the coming off a block, making a fine tackle. And there he gets a little carried yeah. away. Twisting the ankle. All right, now that was not very wise on the part of Colorado State because that would have stopped the Aztecs with a fourth down. They would have had to punt. That's Instead, right. they get a first down and into Colorado State territory. Now, does that come up in meetings the next week, film meetings? Yeah, I think it uh, comes under the category of stupidity. You know, you stop the play, why carry it on into uh, extremes like he did there? See the enthusiasm in the in the players, that's nice to have it, but you you got to be able to curb it at some point in the game. So first down Aztecs after Colorado State penalty at the 48 yard line. Hopler turns handoff Donnie Roberts hole up the middle Donnie goes to the 40 yard line of CSU. Nice running Don Roberts for eight yards. Stop made by Jeff Harper linebacker sophomore from Scottsdale Arizona. Boy those eight yard gains on first down that's nice having second and two. It sure is. Gives you a whole whole lot, lot of things that you could do on second down. You can throw the ball long, you can run because you always have that cushion. You have third down to pick up the two yards. 144 to play, third period. Aztecs trailing 14 to 9. Kofler hands it off this time to Roberts again, and Donnie does, in fact, get the first down on a five-yard pickup to the 35 of Colorado State. Tackle made by Kevin Sheasley. And another first down for the men from the Montezuma Mesa. Sheasley's having a good ball game for the Rams. It's a linebacker spot. Aztecs uh, just brought Rich Moran in at center. Rich is a 6'3 sophomore from Pleasanton up in Northern California. Played guard last year. First and 10, Aztecs. Goldwyn Roberts are the setbacks. Kofler will put it up. Blitz is on, catches it. Roberts out of the backfield. Takes it in, goes to the 31 of Colorado State. A good open field tackle by Kevin Sheasley of Colorado State. The great thing about the San Diego State passing attack is they always have a safety valve. There's always a back either going out in a flat or coming out of the backfield up, upfield, always picking up that extra four or five yards where they would have had just an incompleted pass or a possible interception. Very good planning by Coach Scoville. He's got a masterful planning. He's done such a fantastic job of putting that offense together. And he's done that past in many other schools. Second down, seven Aztecs. Late in the third quarter. Kofler takes the handoff. Now fires pass. Full goal. Steve has it knocked out of his hands, and he'll call it an incomplete pass. Uh, Greg Tillman hit him. The Colorado State bench yelling, thinks it should be a fumble. Officials say he did not have possession. Aztecs agree. Nice play by Tillman. Good hard tackle. Well, we'll take Show a look it at again. it. Boom. I don't think uh, Steve had the ball put away yet. No, Tillman right. just sort of. So with that. Just went right across. 28 seconds remaining in the third period. Essex have a third and seven at the Colorado State 32 yard line. Now they line up in eye formation. Kofler rolls left. Fires up field. Oh and drop. To the tight end. John Jessup. Well, that hurt. Well, the Aztecs now with a fourth down and a decision in Colorado State Territory. They trail by five, so a field goal won't do much. It looks like they're going to go for it. Yes, they are. Here's Boutro coming in at tight end with a play, but officials calling timeout on himself. Oh, they want to get some of the Aztec reserves and coaches uh, off the edge of the sideline. Back them up a little bit. So, 
So apparently, yeah, backing him up to the restraining line off there. As you see, the Aztec bench, some of them have gotten up close to the out-of-bounds line. So the Aztecs are going to go for it. A little gambling offense here. Fourth and seven at the Colorado State 32-yard line. Fourth down play coming up. Kofler will pass. Fires over the middle, and it is incomplete. Threw it in heavy traffic down at the 14-yard line. Tended for Darius Durham, but it doesn't work. Well, they went for it. Didn't get it. Let's take a look at it. It's Matt, he's trying to force it into that zone coverage back there to Darius. And they had three, three rams around there, or two rams, so uh, he was pretty fortunate he didn't get it picked off. But it didn't matter, really. It was fourth down. Fourth down, indeed. So, Aztecs' long drive. They've run the ball three times, passed 19, and had two sacks. Colorado State takes over at the 32-yard line of the Rams, leading in the ballgame, 14-9. Pitch comes out. Lindsey, flag is down as he starts to go around the corner. He is hit and smacked down at the 33-yard line. I believe one of the Ram offensive linemen went about a count early. I believe it was left guard, Ed Lawson, number 56. Just 12 seconds remaining in this period. Here's Lindsay. Lindsay on a quick sweep. pitch. 51 is Alan Dale yeah. coming up for San Diego State. 93, Mike Vance. And Mike Fox also in there. Safety, 27. Five-yard walk back, though. The Aztecs have repowered their attack by bringing in one of America's most brilliant offensive coaches, Doug Scoville. Scoville coached such great passers as Roger Staubach, John Brody, and now he brings that same passing magic to San Diego. The pass is back in the Aztec attack. Season tickets are available Monday through Friday at the stadium gate F or call 283-7096. The pass is back in the Aztec attack. Fourth quarter, the season opener, Colorado State, San Diego State, 14 to 9 the score. Colorado State leads it with Bob Babbage. This is Ron Rina as the Colorado State Rams have the ball. First and 15 at their own 27-yard line. Shotgun, Terry Nugent back to pass. Fires a field and completes it. At the 39-yard line, short of the first down. Aztecs playing a little soft there. They don't. Nugent has a little more time out of the shotgun. Seba almost getting the ball. Champagne just breaking to the outside, sitting on the sidelines. Just an out pattern, a deep out. Maybe second down three now for Colorado State. Rams in the eye formation. Pitch to Lindsay trying to sweep to the left side. Almost trips, hit, and drop for a loss. Back at the 37-yard line. Swarming Aztec defense. Todd Seabaugh got in there again. Boy, he's got a good-looking linebacker. He's doing a real fine job containing the run, turning everything back to the inside, letting the pursuit come over there and get it. Along on that play was uh, Brad Williams and I believe Bill Fairbrother. Here comes Brad Williams from his left defensive end position. First contact was by Mike Vance. Loss of three. So now the Rams are faced with a third and five. Operating from their own 37-yard line. Shotgun formation again with a double wing. Nugent the pass sets up delivers to Richie Hall who takes it at the 41 yard and looks to me to be short of the first down sure does which is not very smart on the part of the receiver went down to one knee and got it they had to go to the 42 for the first down indeed and so Colorado State comes up short we'll have to punt the ball over to the Aztecs Now that's important. A wide receiver's got to know what yard line he's got to go to for the first down that's yardage. True. So the Rams will punt the football. The person of Tom Templer with the Aztecs. Gary Nobles awaiting it at the 15. Kick his way a poor one off the side of his foot. 
And we're short, and it goes out of bounds. Nice brace for, break for the Aztecs. Boy, oh boy. A poor punt. So the Aztecs will get the ball instead of deep in their own territory after a 17-yard kick. They'll take over the football at their own 42. I told you, Bob, you got to work on special teams on Thursday and Friday. That's right. They're working on it on Saturday. But that's okay. I don't mind it. So Kofler brings his club to the line of scrimmage with Darius Durham wide right. Phil Smith to the left. Fogel and Roberts are the setbacks. On first down, Kofler to pass. Fires over the middle. Phil Smith knocked down by the umpire. Boy, that's... That's tough when the umpire gets into the defense. Looked like he had a little running room, he too. He had some running room, yes. There's that 12th man we were talking about. Just a quick slant over the middle. Smith has that 4-4 speed. Come on, had, umpire, get out of the way. He had Merkins beat pretty well. I think he's going to be off and running for at least about a 15-yard game. Now, that umpire will show up in the Colorado State defensive stats, won't he? Yes. Okay. Unassisted tackle. Unassisted, fine tackle, too. So the play gains... About four yards, second and six Aztecs. Kofler, quick out pattern. Phil Smith looking for running room. Gets by one man at the 40. Gets by another man upfield. Carries for a first down to Colorado State's 46-yard line. Phil Smith. Good second effort on Phil Smith's part. Good bit of running. He's very quick, and as we said earlier, he has sub-4-4 four, four speed. That little slant doesn't look like much, but uh, when you have somebody that could run the ball with the speed that he has... Could always turn into a big gainer. Boy, Essex has been hit with 10 penalties. Colorado State with eight. So the officials have been busy today. First down, Aztecs at the Ram 46 yard line. Here's Kofler to pass again. Over the middle and dropped this time by Phil Smith. Well, they, were, they were working the tight end over the middle for a while. Now they're running the tight end deep and working one of the wide receivers across the middle. It's uh, basically the same type of pattern, but they're using a little variation instead of the tight end coming across or using the wide receiver. Was that to clear out the area? They just clear it out with the tight end and then bring the wide receiver underneath. Right, Aztecs now with a second down and 10. 14 to 9 the score. Colorado State leads it. One setback, Steve Fogel. Kofler will put it up again. Does to Fogel at the 50, down to the 45, to the 43 of Colorado State, and that's all he can get, circling out of the backfield. Kevin Sheasley over there quickly defensively, along with Earl Rezac, a couple of linebackers. Play gains a couple of yards is all. It's another pattern where they just like to get the ball to the back, coming out of the backfield, and hoping that Colorado State would be in his zone coverage and the linebackers would get a deep drop and... Uh, Hopefully he could pick up five or six yards and maybe with a little move extend it to about a 10 or 12 yard gain. They picked up two. That's third and eight. San Diego State. Kofler will go to the air one more time. Steps up in trouble, running at himself. 45, gets a block, goes downfield. 35, 30, still running. Inside the 20 and finally out of bounds. Matt Kofler. Very good running by Matt. There's a great block by Donnie Roberts. Was the key to that play. Saw his quarterback was in trouble. Through a nice block. Big play for the Aztecs. See Here it again. All the receivers are covered. He gets a little pressure from Mike Call. Sides the run. Here comes a good block by Donnie Roberts right there. That's what sprung him. Now is a good bit of running by Matt. He's very evasive for a big, big man. 34-yard run for Kofler. And a first down Aztecs at the Colorado State 14-yard line. On first down. That draw. Donnie Roberts, not much there, but Donnie forces something and just with sheer strength bulls his way down to the 10 yard line. Stop made by Tom Ehlers, a 6 1 sophomore from Elk Grove, California. And that'll be a three yard pickup for Roberts and the Aztecs. 11 14 to play. In the football game, Aztecs trail by five, 14 to nine. On second down. Kofler. Fires over the middle. Smith at the one yard line. Phil Smith takes in the pass. Boy, that was a fine pass by Matt. It sure was. He drilled that one right in there. 
It'll be a first down San Diego State. Kept the Colorado State defense guessing. He was looking right outside here to Jessup. Jessup was running a little slam pattern to the out, and that gave uh, Smith enough time to come in across the middle. Here's another angle at it. Here's Smith. Fine catch. He drilled that right in there. Anytime's the right time for Budweiser. Give it a try the next time you and your friends have a night in the town. If you're looking for a great taste, Budweiser is ready when you are. First down, goal to go, San Diego State at the one yard line. Two tight ends in there. Handoff, full goal, right tackle, doesn't get at. Boy, that defensive line of Colorado State really bunching up in there. Number 46, linebacker, making that play for Jerry, Jerry Brown. Brown. Brother of cornerback. Fred Brown. Brown. In fact, the Aztecs lose a yard to the two. Comes again. He's nowhere to go. Whole left side of that line. Aztecs bring two new backs in. Craig Ellis and Kerry Williams. Second down. Goal to go at the two. Again, two tight ends. Kofler will roll out to the left. Looking to the end zone. He's going to run it himself. He goes in. Touchdown, Aztecs. <laughs> It's a good play in that situation because it puts the pressure on the defensive back and linebackers with him rolling out and the backs as we can see it here the backs are coming out of the backfield now if one of the cornerbacks decide he wants to come up and put pressure on Kofler all he has to do is flip it in the end zone for a touchdown this way they stayed with their coverage nobody put any pressure on him and he just basically walked in the end zone there was a lot of room 68 Kevin Howell escorting him in and 6-3 junior from Riverside as Kofler carried the ball five times for 52 yards. One two of those point conversion. They're going to go for two as the Aztecs now lead 15-14. They'll run a play from scrimmage. Matt rolls out to the right. Looks for Ellis. Fires the ball to Craig. He's got it. Good for a two-point conversion. So the Aztecs get a touchdown and a two-pointer. It's now 17-14 San Diego State. 9.53 to go in the ballgame. We'll be back right after this. Ready for some excellent service in an intimate western atmosphere? It's El Cajon's Bull and Bear, where the emphasis is on good food. Try our delicious salad bar, seafood or prime rib, or the house specialty, rack of lamb. There's a children's menu and nightly entertainment. Now the downtown San Diego Bull and Bear caters to the business person with luncheon specials, happy hour from 4 to 7, and lots of convenient parking, or plan your next party here, too. Now, if you're in the mood for some good food and entertainment, the Aspen Mine Company has it all on El Cajon Boulevard. All are fine Fortuna-owned restaurants. It's Encinitas TV and the stereo place for a complete home entertainment center. Encinitas TV carries a giant inventory of video and stereo equipment. They feature Zenith quality color TVs with Zenith System 3 in large screen consoles and sharp, powerful portables. Plus the exciting new Zenith 14-day programmable video cassette recorder. For Zenith quality TVs, stereos, and guaranteed repair service, visit Encinitas TV and the Stereo Place, your complete home entertainment center, 1141st Street in Encinitas. All right, here's okay. Matt Kofler coming away from center, going for the two-pointer. It's man-on-man -man coverage with uh, Craig Ellis on uh, Greg Merton. He just flat out beats him in the corner of the end zone. Nice throw, nice grab. That's an important play because now it uh, protects them against a field goal by Colorado State. 17-14 score. Meyer kicks off to Richie Hall, and Richie won't even try it. That touchdown run of Matt Kofler's cost Dave Ball another $100. Dave Ball a ball holds 100 bucks to the Aztec Athletic Foundation. Matt Kofler has already passed 45 times today. So we're going to have to do a little scrambling through the Aztec record book. The record is 53, Brian Sipe against North Texas State, 1971. You may throw the ball a little more today, so uh, yeah, well, we still may got be nine, in jeopardy. 9.53 nine nine to go. Aztecs lead by three. First down, Colorado State at the 20. Let's see what the Aztec defense can do. Shotgun formation. And the keeper by the quarterback, Nugent. And he's hammered as he gets to the 25-yard line, a five-yard gain as he fooled the Aztec defense. Todd Seaball make the stop. Terry, Terry Nugent, the quarterback for Colorado State's a big kid. You know what his hobby is? What? Weightlifting. Have you ever heard of a quarterback that's, that's a hobby? hobby? Weightlifting? Mm. You never even see a quarterback near a weight room. Has to accept Jeff Morgan at a nose tackle now, a 6'1", 230-pound junior from San Jose. 
Shotgun formation again on second and five. Nugent back to pass. Sets up, flag is down, the pass is incomplete at the 30. Daryl Hall, cornerback, hammering Jeff Champagne, the wide receiver. Bill's done a good job, but we do have a flag down. And it's against Colorado State, according to Vernon Dean right there. Illegal procedure, Rams. Nice call, Vernon. So Alan Dale, linebacker, will go over and talk to the official, along with Mike Vance. I would guess they would decline this, bring up a third and five. No, they'll take it. Well, I guess wrong. Five-yard walk-off. Bring up second and ten. Today's Aztec game brought to you in part by the law firm of Hyatt and Stone, La Costa Plaza in Carlsbad. Conventional T formation. And Nugent back to pass. Aztec blitzes on. He fires. He almost intercepted. Mike Fox was there, and so was Mark Coleman. Too many Aztecs. That was incomplete. Nice play by Fox and Mark Coleman. Coleman. Mark Coleman is 6'3", 205, a junior tall safety at 6'3". He's from Lakewood, transfer from Cerritos. Mike Fox, now in his third year as an Aztec, played corner and safety. So the incomplete pass brings up a third and 10. A worried Sark Arslanian, Colorado State sideline. He was quoted in the papers around here saying he's not worried about this opener, very relaxed. His team trails right now as Nugent back to pass on third down. Has time, fires, and it's incomplete. Intended for Jeff Champagne, throwing a little behind him, a poor pass. And a nice play by Vernon Dean on closing on it. Making so, sure he didn't grab onto the ball, just knocked it right out. Fourth down, Aztecs have held. Key series, because uh, taking the lead, see if Colorado State would come back. Well, the Aztecs right. now with nine minutes will get the football right back. Robert Noble back for the to punt, Aztec. Tom Templer, number 33 for the Rams. San Diego State has Gary Nobles, Donnie Roberts awaiting this kick. The punt from the seven yard line is away. Short kick, Nobles comes up on it, takes it, 45, tries to get outside, and almost does, and finally works his way to the 49 yard line. Good work, Gary Nobles. So, good field position, Aztecs. They have the football, they have a three point lead, and we'll be right back. The 1980 Winter Olympics. Hockey team captain Mike Ruzioni helped clinch the gold for the U.S. I'm Mike Ruzioni, the artist. Budweiser asked me to paint with these to help raise funds for America's Olympic athletes. Now you can own my painting and help our athletes train for 84. After all, there are a lot of Picassos. There's only one, Ruzioni. Call 1-800-325-1488 for more information. At Second Soul, we got your number two. Two for the price of one. No matter what your game is, at Second Soul, you always come out a winner. Hundreds of athletic shoe styles, all the top name brands. And with every pair of shoes you buy at the regular price, Second Soul gives you a factory resole, absolutely free. It's like getting two pairs for the price of one. We got your number at Second Soul. Two for the price of one at Second Soul. There you see part of the valley uh, surrounding Fort Collins, Colorado, on the campus of Colorado State University. This is 60 miles north of Denver, 60 miles south of Laramie. Obviously, uh, Colorado State and Wyoming are big rivals. Pretty area. A growing community of about 60,000 Fort Collins, as is the whole state of Colorado. Meanwhile, their football team, the Rams, trail the Aztecs on first down. Kofler to pass. Dumps it off. Tied in. John Jessup and John works his way to the 45 of Colorado State as Matt Kofler has now made 30 pass completions. Good afternoon. Yes, and the Aztec record is 33, Jesse Freitas. We may see a couple of records broken here today. Indeed. He's now attempted 46, and the record is 53. 8, 21 left to play in the football game. Aztecs on top, 17, 14. Second down, five. 
Kofler straight back to pass. Blitz is on, picked up, but he fires anyway out of the backfield. Full goal, 40, 35, 30, and Steve still running, breaks the tackle. 10, the five, touchdown Aztecs. Steve Fogel. Colorado State was in a blitz. Nobody picked up Vogel. Nice little pass. Matt Kofler read it very well, threw it out to his man all by himself, and a great second effort as he runs over one of the cornerbacks. I believe it was uh, weak safety Larry Wilson. Scampers in for a touchdown. Steve Vogel. We had to we'll sit out all last year. Comes a blitz. Matt, pick, Matt picks it up. Vogel's all by himself in the sidelines. And he ran over number 36, Mike Fawcett, cornerback. Look at him step. Oh my. Stretch them short legs. That's right. Because <laughs> that's that's big Steve Fogel. Fogel big Steve Fogel. 5'8, oh, 200 five, pounds. 5'8. Five, stretch them legs. Here he's he all goes by again. himself. Another it's angle. unbelievable he was so open. I thought he stepped in the out of bounds line. Pop that just guy. ran right over him. See you later, Mr. Fawcett. He's a real strong runner. He's got good speed, too. He does have surprising speed. Played some tailback for the Aztecs two years ago. So that touchdown makes it 23 to 17. A little ver, cushion. And a very helps. long drive, only two plays. Yeah. They'll get the ball back. So Colorado State uh, wants a timeout to rest after that as the Aztecs lead at 23 to 14. And will attempt the extra point to try to give themselves a 10 point lead. They may be going for the two points. Well, let's see. An extra right point now. would give them 10 point advantage, so Colorado State would definitely have to score twice. Touchdown and a field goal would give them a tie. Right. They are going for the two. But they are going to go for the two, right. Because Colorado State, in theory, could get a touchdown two-pointer, then a field goal. They'll go and win the ballgame. So Doug Scoville and his staff. And there's the head man right there with the dark glasses walking away. Aztecs already have successfully completed one two-pointer after the last touchdown. That touchdown right there just cost Dave Ball another $100. Kofler will run a play from you notice for the Colorado State fans not a heck of a lot to cheer about right now their club trailing 23 14 oh, oh well there's always the Saturday night party tonight that's right Something school started forward. fraternity some fraternity sure. has a party tonight don't obviously they? so the Aztecs will kick off in the person of Dave Meyer high on error kick to the end zone again taken right at the goal line Troy Lindsay 5 10 15 hit missed and finally brought down at the 19 yard line. Aztec special teams good job of coverage. Sure do anytime you keep the ball behind the 20 yard line on a kickoff you're doing a good job on covering. Maybe the 19 but it's still not the 20 so anytime you keep the ball behind that 20 yard line gives them another yard to go for that touchdown so instead of 80 it's now 81. So the Aztec defense now will dig in try to protect this lead of nine points 754 to play in a football game. Sophomore quarterback Terry Nugent brings this club to the line of scrimmage on first down. Nugent will put it up. Pressure rolls out of there looks up field now throws has a man open completes it at the 35 to the 39 yard line. So a breakdown in the Aztec coverage there as they got a good pass rush. But the ball was completed Terry Nugent. Kevin Ritchie put a crushing tackle on Nugent when he threw it. I will probably be able to see it. Nugent here scrambles out. Ritchie coming off a block right here and just gives him a good shot. Just to turn in about 15 yards in that zone. That was tight end Mike Camp taking in the ball. First down, Colorado State. At the Ram 39 yard line. Shotgun formation again. Nugent sets a big blitz by the Aztecs. He throws long downfield. Richie Hall, but has him all turned around in a poor pass at the 30-yard line. Coverage by Daryl Hall. Oh, incomplete pass. That'll bring up second and ten. Now Bob with a nine-point lead with the Aztecs secondary play a little soft now. Uh, yeah, a little softer than they have been playing. But I think they're still going to be very aggressive. They blitzed on that time. I think. Once you have things going, you're an aggressive all ball game. You just can't tell them to play off. I think you have to play the same type of game that you've played uh, to this point. They've been very successful at it. They might as well keep going. So it is second down 10. And again, the shotgun formation. Nugent high snap inside handoff. Hendricks, the fullback, around left hand and gets a couple of yards. And then the Aztecs hammer him out of bounds. Almost hit the backfield. It's Kevin Ritchie doing a good job again. Now that he's in there. 
playing back of that uh, tackle position. Let's take a look at oh, it. Almost a bad snap. That is a hazard of that offensive Yes, formation. it is. There's Todd Sebo bouncing in there. Good run by Mike Hendricks. They play gains to the 44-yard line. Third down four, Colorado State. Again, the shotgun. Nugent will try to put it up and does and completes it at the 47 yard line which might be a little bit short of the first down. Yes it is. That happened the last series. Colorado State had a completed pass one yard short of first down yardage. Let's see the spot. That's ever important. And yes it is short of first down. Here they have both uh, backs out in a wing position and just hit, they just hit Troy Lindsay coming across the middle trying to pick up a quick first down. He's about a yard short. Well, they'll go for it. They'll go for it now. They have no choice. Fourth and one, 6.40 to play in the game. The clock moving. Aztecs lead 23-14. Conventional T formation. And Nugent in trouble, but keeps it himself wisely and gets the first down. I think he tried to hand off and had a little mix-up in the backfield, but he had enough presence of mind to keep the ball and roll out and get a yard or two and a first down. So a big fourth down play for Colorado State, keeping the drive alive. He bobbles the snap oh, from the boy. center and then misses the handoff completely. Just turns it up right up into the line of scrimmage. Into the hands of Todd Seaball. So as you see the football, there he goes again. He almost had it knocked out by uh, Mike Hendricks coming in there. Ball right on the midfield stripe in the 50-yard line on the hash mark. First and 10 Colorado State clock moving. 6.08 the play. Again, the shotgun formation. Nugent to pass. Pressured, fires, and oh, nice catch. Jeff Champagne just before stepping out of bounds. That showed me something. Out of the shotgun again. Champagne just goes down about 10 yards. Quick out. Good try there by uh, Todd Seabaugh. It's getting real close to those. He's going to knock one of them down or pick it off before it's all over with today. So the Rams bring, Je or rather the Aztecs bring Jeff Miller in at nose tackle. He's a freshman from Cabrillo, 6'3", 225. Some fresh legs in there. First down, Colorado State at the Aztec 37. Shotgun. Penalty flag coming out of the backfield on the pass. Hendricks takes it in, goes all the way down the far sideline to the 26-yard line. But let's see what the penalty is. Might be a legal procedure, Colorado State. And indeed it is. That will wipe out about a 10-yard gain. Very a little motion by Hendricks. See fullback coming out. It's the same play they used earlier in the game, but out of the regular split back formation. Now they're just doing it out of the uh, shotgun. It's a quick screen. They're pulling two guards out for the guard and tackle to the side that uh, Hendricks is motioning to, and they're trying to get upfield for uh, five, six, 10 yards. It was a good game, but wiped out. Hopefully they could break it. That's the the key to the thing. They want to pick up five or six yards, but with a couple blocks and maybe a missed tackle, they could uh, make a long gainer out of it. Doug Reed and Kevin Ritchie come out. Reed, a 6'4 junior from San Diego, transferred from City College, played at Lincoln High. Mike Vance checks back into the lineup for the Aztecs. Along the defensive line, along Steve Allman. Shotgun, back to pass. There's Brad Williams chasing, but the pass complete out of the backfield. Lindsey, 45. To the 40 and a shoestring tackle. He's brought down at the 38 yard line. Bill Fairbrother with a good tackle. It's good hustle, good determination. He wanted to get to that ball carrier. He was way on the other side of the field. As soon as he saw the screen, he just broke. What they're trying to do now is uh, neutralize that Aztec pass rush by going through the short screens. Here Lindsay gets the ball and Fairbrother coming all the way from the right side of the field, making a fine play. Mark Coleman also in there to help him. So they picked up the penalty yardage that was lost. Now it is second down and 10. Rams at the Aztec 37-yard line. San Diego State on top, 23-14. The clock continues to move. 4-48 to play in a football game. This is Nugent in the shotgun. They'll put it up. Fires. And intercepted by San Diego State. Nice play. Vernon Dean intended for Richie Alley. Deflected it, and the Aztecs grab it and intercept first turnover. It's like Mike Fox got the deflection for the interception. There's Mr. Fox. Comes a pass. Uh, Vernon Dean closes really hard. He's the one that really caused that interception. The ball was slightly thrown. Vernon Dean hits Richie Hall, pops it out of his hand, and Mike Fox was right there. Sit at another angle. 
Some good pressure there. There's a good play uh, there. And Mike, but now Fox is the next baseball player. Yes, San Francisco Giants, so he scooped it up like an infielder. He's so, working on that old tip drill that they work out in practice every day. That's right. Pays off sometimes, doesn't it? Sure does. That's the first turnover to their credit, Colorado State. First down, Aztecs at the 31-yard line. 4-38 to play in a football game. Greg Ellis on the draw, gets a yard or two to 33, and that's about all. Ball down by Jerry Brown, linebacker. So the Aztecs, I'm sure, will run the ball some now to run that clock out. No football game for the Aztecs next week. They have a bye. They're off. Then two weeks from today, they'll play Oklahoma State of the Big Eight at Stillwater. I'd like to remind you to watch the Doug Scoville show after that ball game from the Aspen Mine Company. Alcon Boulevard, part of each Sunday's Aztec replays here on XETV6 at 4 Sunday afternoons. Brought to you in part by Coca-Cola Bottling Company of San Diego, New Corp Corporation, and Nuttall Styrus. Second and eight, Coulter to put it up. Retreating, retreating, rolling out. Now looking upfield for help. Fire to Phil Smith, and it is no good. So that incomplete pass stops the clock at 3.50 to play, and the Aztecs now will be looking at a third and nine. He joined us uh, late. Aztecs led at halftime, nine to seven. Colorado State scored a touchdown early in the third quarter. First possession, they go in front 14 to nine. Aztecs came back here in the fourth quarter with two touchdowns to lead it 23-14. That's where we stand now. Phil Smith wide to the left, Darius Sturm to the right, and Kofler rolls left, looking upfield. Pressured, and trouble hit, and dropped for a loss at the 24. So a hard rush by Colorado State, drops Matt. That's his fourth sack of the day. The Aztecs are going to have to turn over the football to Colorado State. Show it again, he's looking downfield, all his receivers are covered. Gets a little pressure, there's nowhere to go. But the clock is still running. That's right, and they will punt the football to Colorado State. Jeslin has averaged slightly better than 50 yards. That's the fifth sack of Kofler today. Jeslin punting, though, this time deep in his own territory at the 10. Greg Merton back deep for the Colorado State Rams. Jeslin with a high spiro. Fair catch called for and taken at the 36-yard line by Powell, a defensive back. 40-yard punt. So the Rams will go on the attack again. Less than three minutes to play. 2.56 remaining in this contest. San Diego State on top. 23-14. So defense will get a test one more time. Sports Network would like to thank the Robert Basie Professional Corporation for assistance in making this telecast possible. And it's been a dandy. Hope you've enjoyed it. Shotgun formation, Terry Nugent, sophomore quarterback, back to pass. Sets up, fires long, it is intercepted and dropped by Darrell Hall, stepping nicely in front of wide receiver Richie Hall. And that was the 80th pass of this football game. 80th? What's the whack record, 107? 107 or 104. You got a long ways to go on that one. Yes. The yeah. throw, it's, uh, I believe uh, Nugent's arm was hit, the ball's underthrown, Hall's, Darrell sees it. Comes in to make the interception, but he just could not hold on to the ball. Now that's a good play by the receiver. Yes, Richie he knocked Hall, the ball out Avoiding of the interception. Exactly. Second and 10, Colorado State from the Ram, 37. No more shotgun. Nugent will pass anyway. Sets up, pressured, rolling out of there. Hit, fumbles, Aztecs recover. Yes. As Mike Vance, 6'3", senior from Visalia. I believe Doug Reed, number 60, is the one who had the first hit and made him fumble. Aztecs force another turnover. So we'll see it again. Where's the pressure? Pressure on Nugent. It's away. 91. Oh, Steve Allman. Steve Allman knocks it out of his hand. And Mike Vance picks it up. Steve Allman's father is an investigator for the post office department of fraud. So a little law enforcement there by Mr. Allman. There you go. Policing up the play. Aztecs take the ball at the Colorado State 29. Kofler to pass. Going for the bundle. Butro open and complete. So Matt saw tight end Jim Butro all open, but there is a penalty flag down. He had really slipped open. 
I think the penalty, though, which is away from the ball, is going to be against Colorado State. One of the defensive backs, I think, pushed Phil Smith, Aztec receiver, at the other end of the field. That seems to be the indication. Pass interference. There it is. First down, Essex. Boy, now that's a break for San Diego State and a bad play on the part of Colorado State because that was not the man to whom the ball was thrown. I think the interference call was on 25, Les Brown, corner. Les Brown, who wants to be a sportscaster when he graduates from Colorado State. Really? I don't know if I'm crazy about that. First down, Aztecs at the 14 yard line, trying to put this one away. Kofler will put it up. Dumps it off. Fogel, 15, 10, 5, gets a ride, and he's down there. And Les Brown make, making that tackle. Not made by Les Brown. They're just not picking up that back coming out of the backfield. Fogel just slides out. Leisurely walk. Nobody in front of him. Les Brown comes up and makes the tackle. Nice hit on him. Yes, it was. I bet he, had, I bet he saw what happened to, to Foss, and he says, that's not going to happen to me. No. So at the five-yard line, the Aztecs, as this crowd starting to depart, have a second down and one. Colfer will put it up anyway. Looking for somebody to throw. Oh, in trouble now. Short yardage. He'll run it. He's at the five, the three, the two, the one-yard line. Matt Kofler, Mr. Open Field Runner. First down, Aztecs. Scrambled out of some trouble here. Everybody was covered. Nowhere to go. Nice move right there. Puts his head down, bangs Takes his lumps. Him. Young, strong man. Yes, indeed. Six, what, six, three, 190 pounds. So first down, goal to go, San Diego State, a minute 25 to play. Aztecs trying to put another touchdown on the board. Fogel and Ellis are the setbacks. Kofler on first down. Gives Fogel, dives over, touchdown Aztecs. Steve Fogel's second touchdown of the day, and after a fumble recovery, the Aztecs go in for a TD, another 100 bucks. They ball to the Aztec Athletic Foundation, and that should do it, 29-14. San Diego State leads it. Fogel, a senior out of Huntington Beach, five foot eight, 200 pounds, played at Golden West Junior College. Let's see him right here, just give it, he just dives right over the top. He has good springs in those short legs, doesn't he? See, Sam Bam Cunningham, thank you. Pops it right up, sit from a different angle. Wisely Nothing going. fancy, just straight ahead. Showed a little smarts, too. He went up back at Daryl Yarborough, former student body president at Morris High. Extra point, try kick. First one of the day is good by Dave Meyer. Aztecs tack on a point, 30 to 14. San Diego State on top. Mm, mm, mm. The Aztecs uh, sending a little good. telegram to the WAC conference today? I believe so. Very impressive opener. If it wasn't for the mistakes, may have uh, a few more points on board. Yeah, this includes these 30 points, a number of holding penalties, 10 penalties in all, three pass interceptions. Matt Kofler so far, 32 for 49, 333 yards. That's a pretty good percentage, isn't it? Nice opener. One minute, 10 seconds left to play. Now, don't forget, Aztec Ticket Office will be open Monday morning, 9 a.m. and all day at the stadium. You can get your tickets for upcoming Aztec home games, five-game season ticket package for as low as $25. That's at Window F, San Diego Stadium. As you drive over there, big Aztec sign up there above the ticket window. Window F is in fast. Monday through Friday, open at 9 a.m. Get your tickets for Aztec games. Home season starts in four weeks from now. Not Dave Meyer, but uh, Mike Jeslin is going to kick off. He's normally the punter. Let's see what kind of a kickoff. Not a record breaker. It goes to the 11-yard line, where the Rams, Les Brown, brings it back to the 31-yard line. Well, okay, altitude or not, Jeslin is not going to lead the nation in kickoffs. This is true. I think he was a little upset over his 40-yard punt. Brought his average down a little. That's it. So Colorado State will take over the football for probably the last time in this football game. 
Boy, the Rams were confident coming into this season and this football game. And they have a change at quarterback for Colorado State. New quarterback is Miller playing for the first time. And on first down, he'll put it up. Sets up, delivers out to a back. Coming out of the backfield. And a Siebert. Siebert takes the ball all the way up to the 47-yard line. Mark Miller's just a freshman, so he's getting a little game experience here. He's their backup quarterback to Nugent. 6'3", 185 pounder. The clock continues to move. 53 minutes left to play. I'd like to thank our executive producer, Jack Malstad. Today's telecast, our producer, Michael J. McLeese. Fine director, Steve Lowe. Our associate producer, H.W. Bassett III. First down again. Flag is down. Pass is incomplete. Miller, again, trying to go to Siebert. And flags everywhere. And that stops the clock with 33 seconds left to play. Penalty appears to be against San Diego State. Offside. Well, Matt Kofler today ran in for a touchdown. Passed to Steve Fogel for a touchdown. He passed to tight end Jim Butro for a touchdown. Where's Meyer? So nice opener for him and the Aztec offense. Rich Boyer in a linebacker now. Should give him a lot of confidence for the year. I think they needed this. Absolutely. Boost, and I know it's going to help Matt because he is under a lot of pressure, being that he's the one that's supposed to guide this high-powered offense. And a good start like this is going to do nothing but give him a lot of confidence for the rest of the season. And Miller running out of trouble. Fires long downfield. It is intercepted. Vernon Dean. Boy, did he play that like a center fielder. And Rick Boyer, linebacker, all the way down at the five-yard line. Nice linebacker drop. And the Aztecs come up with their second interception and take over the football. Rick has good speed. And last year he was the leading interceptor on the... Uh, Aztec ball club with three. We see it again. A lot of pressure here on uh, Miller. He scrambles, just throws it up for grab. The Aztecs are just playing a deep zone and just sitting back there, trying not to prevent the touchdown. And Vernon Dean, as Ron said, playing it like a center fielder. 30 to Same 14 play. to score. Just didn't have a lot on the ball. He threw it a little off balance. You know, that's Another a third, reception. third turnover for the Rams, all of which have occurred here in the fourth quarter. And they led going into the fourth quarter. So the Essex now will just run the clock out. Some of the Rams trying to be a little aggressive. Little people-to-people uh, -people program going on down there as the players get to meet each other. Hughes Stadium, Fort Collins, Colorado, in front of a crowd of 25,000, the San Diego State Aztecs spoil. Opening day for the Colorado State fans, Aztecs win it. 30 to 14 and on balance Bob Babbage I'd say a rather impressive opening victory they were they were very impressive especially offensively I uh, wasn't really expecting that much out of them offensively I knew the defense was going to be aggressive and uh, do a good job and hold it down to as low as they possibly can and I figured that they'd have to carry him through the opening part of the season but the offense came around much quicker than I anticipated Matt Kofler had a great day uh, Boudreaux had a great day from tight end uh, Matt threw for, I don't know what he completed, 32 out of 49 passes. That's a pretty good percentage. Threw a couple interceptions, but that's going to happen early in the season until he gets comfortable with the system. But I was really impressed with their offense today. All right, coming into the season in this football game, question marks about the offensive line. It made you think the offense may sputter a little bit. Uh, so as everybody got to know each other, new receivers, uh, working with quarterback Matt Kofler. And I got the impression from the coaching staff this week they'd hoped that the defense and special teams would keep it in, keep keep them in the ball game and keep it close. Well, they, in actuality, they did. Defense was very aggressive and tenacious all day. They didn't give up. They just kept coming. They're throwing bodies around. They had great, great pursuit from the linebackers. Good coverage by the defensive backs and a defensive line, which surprised me, which is not all that big. And when you're going up against a Colorado State team that has good sized linemen that are averaging 6'4", 250 pounds, these kids did a tremendous job in controlling that line of scrimmage. All right, it looked like defensive coordinator Bernie Miller put the Aztecs in about 8,000 different defenses. Well, they have everything imaginable. Anything ever produced for defense in a 3-4, Bernie has it. And I think he used about half of it today, and he has a whole bunch more waiting for the next opponents to come up. Now, we saw a lot of blitzes, and so I can only assume he gave the Colorado State offense some problems with so many different looks. Well, I think so. They wanted to blitz Nugent because he's just a sophomore quarterback. He played very little last year as a freshman, so they wanted to uh, give him a lot of different looks, a lot of different things to think about during the course of the ball game, and I think they did it pretty effectively. All right, in the ball game, 
Aztecs on their very first drive went 83 yards and ended up getting a field goal from Dave Meyer of 23 yards out. And that made it San Diego State 3, Colorado State nothing, coming with 3.28 left to play in the first quarter. Colorado State then early in the second quarter caught off a drive of 34 yards after an interception of a Matt Kofler pass. And the Rams capped that with a touchdown. 19 yards, Terry Nugent to Ricky Hall. They had gone 34 yards in four plays, and so they led 7-3 to three with 10.47 still to play. At Fort Collins, Colorado, the Aztec today defeating the Colorado State University Rams by a score of 30 to 14. And certainly senior quarterback Matt Kofler had a big day. And Matt, congratulations to you. Despite the interceptions, I thought you hung in there and played tough. Well, despite the interceptions, you know, <laughs> I guess we played all right. It's a good starting effort. Okay, you went to your tight ends, Jim Butro and John Jessup, a lot. Did you plan to coming into the game? Yeah, we planned on uh, taking advantage of whatever they give us, you know, and uh, I think it was a matter of their linebackers not really um, being real, real sharp on the on the uh, short drops. They dropped deep real well, but they wouldn't pick up the undercover, so we just took that and took that. And uh, then when they started biting on that, we went a little bit deeper, you know. And uh, it was a, we, you know, we, uh, we stopped ourselves there with about 900 penalties and about <laughs> three or four interceptions there, but uh, kept our poise real well. And, uh, you know, we, uh, we pretty much controlled the tempo of the game, I thought, for a while there, um, uh, most certainly in the second half. Absolutely. We believed even in the first half, you know, um, we just stopped ourselves and it, we knew it was a matter of time before we'd uh, put it together and uh, I'd uh, hit the receivers instead of the de uh, defenders there. Now, besides the Ted engine through the backs a lot, uh, would it be safe to assume that Colorado State was trying to take away the outside receivers like Darius Durham and Phil Smith? Yeah, they uh, they didn't really take them away, though. They uh, take away the deep stuff. They played really deep today. We didn't get too many deep balls, you know. We uh, we threw under them. We threw uh, short outs, uh, little hitch passes, and uh, slant ends, especially on the goal end down there. But uh, we had some outstanding individual efforts from our running backs, and the uh, offensive line played good. You know, a few penalties in there, but uh, the, the referees were calling them really, really close, very close. And... Uh, they must have been because I saw you talking to the officials quite a bit. Yeah, I asked them what the heck was going on, you know. I was wondering what the, you know, they called lazy hands and things like that. And I wanted to know what the heck a lazy hand was, you know. It's uh, it's uh, just when you put your hands out, I guess, and touch a defender, you know, you don't have to grab them or anything. But uh, that's, uh, I think, a five, ten-yard penalty like that. But uh, got a lot of those. All right, you're right. Our conversation with senior quarterback Matt Kofler. The Aztecs at halftime led by a score of 9-7 to seven, coming out in the third quarter. Uh, neither team able to move the ball much and punted it back and forth until late in that third period. Colorado State got off following a punt of Mike Jeslin's all the way down to the six yard line. An outstanding drive of 94 yards. The Rams capping with a touchdown. Terry Nugent to Jeff Champagne, 17 yard pass. That put Colorado State in front after the extra point try. 14 to 9. The Rams look to be in great shape. And that's how the third quarter ended. Then, as we got into the fourth quarter, the Aztecs started a drive just at the end of the third period, carried over into the fourth quarter, 58 yards. Matt Kofler uh, firing a little checkoff pass to Steve Fogel. Fogel went, oh, I beg your pardon, Matt Kofler got the drive as the Aztecs down to the two yard line. That's right. Then on a quarterback keeper, he kind of rolled out to the left and would waltz into the end zone. Two yard run for a touchdown. That put the Aztecs back in front. They also went for a two point conversion, got it, a pass from Kofler to Craig Ellis. That put the Aztecs back in front. And then after stopping Colorado State in a punt, the Aztecs just threw a little checkoff pass to Steve Fogel. He said nuts to it. I'll run it into the end zone. And he did from 45 yards out. Bowled over Jeff Fawcett of Colorado State. And Fogel got a touchdown later. Bowled another one in. And Aztecs 30-14. to 14. Bob, a fine opener. It was. It was a great opener. It's always nice to win the opener. But what, what makes it even nicer, it was a conference game. Oh, that's right. Aztecs atop the Western Athletic Conference right now. 1-0. So all in all, it was a fine afternoon. Hope you enjoyed our telecast from Fort Collins, Colorado. Aztecs beat Colorado State, Colorado State Rams 30 to 14. Aztec football. Presentation of Sports Network. Brought to you by Budweiser. This Bud's for you. By Ball Olds Honda, a mile of cars in National City. And by the Aspen Mine Company, Mine Food on El Cajon Boulevard. For Bob Babich, Ron Rena, final score Aztecs 30, Colorado State 14.